Yo, how's, how's it going, everybody? Uh, so I'm Jaycock. I'm going to be doing a Paper Mario all-card speedrun for you. Uh, you want to introduce yourselves? Sure, I'll go first. Um, I am supporting character the Dragon Feeny. I've never played this game, and I am so excited to see this run. It's going to be so good. Okay, uh, well, there's a, kind of a slow intro, so I say we just go ahead and get right into it. Uh, so I'll go ahead and count down. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Good luck. So Paper Mario. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so Paper Mario All Cards. This is the basically the all chapters. Yeah, like the all chapters category. So at the end of every chapter, after you beat the chapter boss, there is a card for the star spirit that appears. And so the the goal for this category is to touch each of those seven cards and then beat the game uh, by defeating Bowser, getting the Star Rod, that whole deal. Um, so this compared to like, say, any percent, um, or any percent no ways, there is arbitrary code execution in this game, which makes things a little bit difficult to, uh, knowing not just being able to say any percent. Uh, but anyway, so you get to see a lot more of the game in this category and a lot more of a variety of different glitches and stuff. This run is very glitch heavy. Um, so you'll be seeing tons of those. Um, it does take a little bit to get started. Um, the prologue is like, you know, if, you ever, if you've ever seen like a Majora's Mask speed run um, and you know, like first cycle, it's like a similar idea. Uh, but we do have stuff to do here. So the first thing to note is that uh, the primary way that we're going to move through this game is through spinning. And so you'll notice at the end of every spin here, I actually jump at the end. And I'll show you if I don't here. You can see how there's kind of like a little bit of end lag there. And so we just jump to kind of like skip that. Um, also, you can see as I'm going up the stairs, uh, ledges like that will automatically cancel it. And so I'll be doing that as much as I can using... Uh, using the environment to try and be able to get to the next spin uh, as much as I can. Uh, but yeah, so here uh, we're going to have our first battle to kind of just introduce, you know, just here to kind of introduce us to the concept. Um, going to be fighting Bowser. What? Uh, not the, hold crazy, on. right? <laughs> Excuse me, this is the first two minutes of the game. I know, we're <laughs> already fighting him. So we're going to win, right? <laughs> totally. No. Yeah, totally. It's not Bowser end definitely at won't all. cheat. Yeah, yeah. Um, but <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and a few other things to note about the run. So, I'm playing on the Japanese version of the game. You'll notice all the text is in Japanese. Uh, the main reason for that is just faster text. Um, the text both scrolls faster and is more concise just because of, you know, the Japanese language uses fewer characters uh, than English. Um, and that actually saves like multiple minutes over the course of the run. There are a couple Japanese exclusive glitches in this game, and we will be using a couple of them. Uh, but, but none of them are like particularly impactful in this run, just like, you know, a little bit of time save here and there. Um, okay, and so first thing here you can see with the... Uh, the fight, all I can do right now is jump. All Mario has are his boots. Um, if you've played this game, if you've seen this game before, um, you might be wondering like where my action commands are. I don't have any of those yet. You don't start with them in this game. Um, and another thing that I'm doing, and I'll be doing it throughout the run. So whenever I go to jump on an enemy, there is a five frame window where I can, I think it's five frames, uh, where I can actually push A as Mario crouches. And I'll actually show the difference here. So if, on the, if this is the first one, I'll let Mario jump without doing it. And you can see like he kind of crouches for a few frames there. Um, but then on the, the next one, right here, I'll, I'm just going to be like mashing A. You can see the crouch is way shorter. Um, later on, once I get those, I'm going to have to time it so that it doesn't like ruin the action command. But like, you know, there's not too much we can do here in the beginning to save time. So got to do what we can. Um, and also, one really, like, such a nice thing about this game, I so wish they'd kept it in future games, but really any RPG. Uh, so I'm just holding the B button for text. Oh, no, there's no text. Um, the fastest way to advance text in this game is literally just to hold the B button. Uh, so if I really wanted to, I, I actually have, I actually have, like, a clamp here. 
<laughs> oh my god, Brown that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so good for like, you know, if there's a long cutscene with no input, you just want to like, you know, have a bathroom break or something. When uh, people come to visit <laughs> and, you know, you show them, you, you give them the tour of your home and, and they see this <laughs> clamp on your desk, do they, what do you tell them? Are, are you like, that's my that's controller my clamp. clamp. <laughs> You know what else is speed? We're going fast. We just reached one hundred and twenty-nine thousand dollars. The donations Yo. are a flying. We're on fire. Full speed. Actually, you could go ahead and do some donations now. Um, this is just like a cutscene for a few more minutes. Oh, thank you. We have twenty-five dollars from Waka. It reads, "Wahoo." We also have $200 from Mittens. Hey, Jaycog, Mittens here. Moose, our cat Mittens. lady, and I are turning in to cheer you on. Tuning in to cheer you on. Good luck on the run. Make sure to give your cat Rolo some good pets from us after this run. Thank you so much for your donation. If we're lucky, she might actually jump up on my desk at some point. She's here. <laughs> Ooh, cat sighting. One of the internet's favorite things, especially, <laughs> especially all of us here. <laughs> we also have $5 yeah, from here. abandoned rocket ship, Paper Mario Rules. Thanks, Jaycog. We also have $50 from Whiplash810. Hi, Jaycog. So happy to be part of your wonderful community. I always look forward to your streams, and I'm very excited to see you here on the big stage. Best of luck on the run. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, speaking of Rolo, I don't know if you can see her. Oh, you can see her a little bit. <laughs> She's coming over. <laughs> okay, so I am about to get control right here. Um... So still not a whole lot that we're doing right now. I'm just kind of like, uh, you know, we lit Mario literally died and got brought back to life. And so now we're trying to get out uh, of Kuma Village. So just kind of like talking to Goompa, trying to get permission to leave. Um, we also but unfortunately, saw Star. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, we're going to get stopped here. Um, Cammy is going to show up and... Uh, Put a block that really doesn't look like it should be that big of a deal, but, you know. <laughs> you think Mario's thin enough of paper and all that he'd be able to just walk around it? Um, but actually, I should, I should start explaining. So the first major glitch of the run is going to be coming up. It's going to be using loading zone storage. This is going to be called, this is called Junior Skip. Uh, skips the first Junior Shrupa fight of the run. And so... Um, the way that it works, uh, loading zones in this game, so like whenever you like uh, are going in between areas, uh, like a loading zone, uh, there is if you jump into it, you actually don't take the loading zone until you've been on the ground for two frames. And so what I can do with that is I can actually chain some frame perfect jumps together. And if I do that in the room uh, to the left here, um, I can actually jump all the way over to the bush that uh, gives you the hammer and it'll instantly give me the hammer and then as soon as I land right after that it will I'll take the loading zone and skip the fight so really going from zero to a hundred here uh, let's see hopefully I can get this first try um, we'll see about you know what else we got first try we got that attack FXC badge incentive smashed out of the park already way to go everyone that is fantastic oh. I'm Yo, told that awesome. we're in oh for God. a treat. You guys, you guys are in for a treat. I'm so excited. <laughs> With Attack of XC. Uh, so the Mario Wiki describes it um, as an odd mechanical sound. I will let you be the judge of that. Uh, that'll be in like an hour and a half, roughly. <laughs> so you got that to look forward to. <laughs> oh, but yeah, no, that was a really good junior skip. Um, nice one. Also going to be... Yeah, also going to be picking up some coins here. Can you do it uh, again? We... I didn't see it. <laughs> well, if you want to see more loading zone storage, uh, that is far from the last time you'll be seeing it this run. Um, there's actually some different applications of it, like some different uh, properties that it has. That I'll, I'll explain when they're more relevant. Oh, perfect. Um, 
But yeah, so here we're uh, about to get our first partner of the run, Goombario. He exists. <laughs> he is more useful than having no one. <laughs> he tries his best. Okay, look at it. He's wearing he his hat. He does. He's out here. He's He's got a little face. He's ready to go. He's cute. He's cute. That's important. <laughs> Uh, also, oh, we also got our first... Oh, sorry, sorry. I was just going to say, I love how it's also called, like, Goompa for, like, the grandpa. Goompa. <laughs> <laughs> Goompa, Goompapa, Goombaria, Goomba. <laughs> uh, it's a family name, you see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so I equipped that badge there. That is Power Jump. And that badge is... Uh, it's just a more powerful uh, jump move that uses uh, 2 FP. Uh, FP being like flower uh, points, basically like our mana in this game. Um, but actually, have to like this is actually one of the harder rooms in the game to avoid the enemies. Um, one of the two rooms because it's such a narrow path here. We just uh, hit yeah, hundred and thirty thousand. Oh like it's just like the numbers are just we're shooting up. I'm sorry what? for jumping in. I just have to. hundred and thirty thousand dollars raised for the National Women's Law Center. Like what? Oh Let's go, everyone. <laughs> and the glitch exposition is already at one thousand four hundred and sixty of seven thousand needed. Like we are speed oh running god. this total. We're going. Oh my god. <laughs> you can hit that in no time if we keep it up. Let's go. Okay, so go straight into Mario Day. <laughs> right into, yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah, right into Mario Day. <laughs> okay, so this fight, these are the Goomba Bros. Uh, you, uh, you may have noticed that I like kind of spread out the damage here. Um, I, I attacked the red one and then the blue one. The red one has one more HP, so I had to do an extra attack with Goombario there. Um, but I killed them both at the same time, um, and that's actually faster than killing one before the other, even though that means you get uh, an extra attack. Or two or whatever it is uh because if whenever one of them dies the other one like there's like a little mini cutscene. he's like oh no my brother <laughs> <laughs> luigi it's okay they're fine. right like luigi <laughs> oh no yeah yeah <laughs> bro <brothers>. please bro <laughs> and then just ate a goon up there to uh restore my fp so that i have enough for goomba king here um some people may know him as Goomboss, as he appear as he's named in a few later games. This is where he's, as far as I'm aware, this is where he's from originally, though. Uh, Are we sure it's Goomba the King. same Goomba, though? Like this I one mean, might he be looks Goomba exactly King? the same, just in three dimensions in other games, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay. So the fight here, um, the way we're gonna do it, uh, I think most people who've played this game. Uh, have figured it out, but if not, I maybe this will blow your mind. Okay, so Goomba King has 10 HP. I'm gonna do a power jump on him to start, but with Goombario, I'm actually going to attack the tree, which uh, drops a Goom Nut and takes out the Goomba Bros right away. So nice and oh, quick. A Goom Nut? Oh, goom Nut. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I, love I it. literally have an alert in my stream that just has like the attack happened like to my camera. It's okay. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> I, oh, we, we have like donations flying in. Is it all right if I read a couple? Oh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> we <laughs> have another cutscene right here. Perfect. We have $100 from Xeno Veritas. Mario Day, maybe tomorrow. But let's paper over that fact and get this glitch exposition. And yes, I totally want to see Jacog show her stuff for this glitch exposition ex exhibition. I, I, I'm by the end of this stream, we will say it properly. But it's going to be entertaining glitches and tricks, which I am so looking forward to. We also have five dollars from uh, Lila. Hey, Cog, so psyched to see you closing the show. I hope you're having a great time and that you find the legendary Goombario skip one day. Give Rolo a few more scritches from us. <laughs> Thank you for your donation. Wait, why do we, we want to skip him? Look at him. He's so cute. So we actually can skip him. It's possible, but it is slower. <laughs> I mean, with that, I also have to say Goombario has just donated $50 saying, <laughs> I'm not useless. See, I can also donate $50. <laughs> he did so good. He did so good. Good <laughs> you, Goombario. He is trying his best. 
all I can ask for, really. We've tried to route them in to like some ra- some routes and some categories. It just never ends up being faster, though. <laughs> One day it'll be found, and that'll be the day of all days. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can find some glitches uh, that he uses. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting it out there to the universe because every time a speedrunner say something can't happen, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to know, like, so, if... Okay, yeah, it's actually so tragic, because in the sequel, in TTYD, um, Goombella is actually, like, one of the most useful partners, not just for, like, in battles, but, like, glitches. She's, like, insane uh, with the oh. glitches she lets you do, but no, not in this one. <laughs> Look at how they massacred my boy. <laughs> uh, wait, I just realized Cammy is, like, Grammy. Is that why it's Cammy? Oh, Maybe? Because, You know, yeah. I never actually realized that. I, I'm just seeing it <laughs> now. I think it's Cammy like Grammy, because I was like, why is it not Camic? And then it's like, because it's Cammy. Well, I thought <laughs> it was Cammy because it's Grandma. Well, yeah, now I'm seeing it. <laughs> but like, not, not like Grammy, but you know what? That makes sense. I just assumed that it was because it was, was like Lady Grandma Camic instead of Camic. <laughs> We're learning things. Ah, uh. yeah, Kamek and Kami, two different characters. Do you think they're Believe married, or, or do you think like they're brother and sister? Do you think they're related in together. any way? I don't think they've ever been in the same game together, have they? Oh. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to we'll have to pull chat right now for that information. I think <laughs> they they know all. They've got <laughs> the lore. Works. Yeah, exactly. They've got the <laughs> lore down paper. <laughs> okay, and you can actually read some more donations. There's oh. like another, like actually even longer cutscene coming up right here. Wonderful. Feel free to cut me off at any time. We sure, have, sure. <laughs> we have one hundred dollars from Symphony. Been waiting all week for the Paper Mario Run. This game has a special place in my heart, and I am so excited to see Jay Cog absolutely rock it. Donating to the Glitch Exp. Exhibition because I want to see this game shredded like paper. Yes, oh, so that's gonna be good. I pick I picked some good ones. I'm very excited for it. Right now we're sitting at 1,735 of the 7,000 needed for that exhibition. <laughs> I'd also like to read this $50 donation from Fine and Andy. Bowser is rock. Paper Mario's got this. Thank you so much. Oh, we also have $25 from CRH244. Love supporting J Cog's run tonight. Let's go. Oh my goodness, there's just so many good ones. We're we're going to be reading them all. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> we have $200 from MB donating for the fight for equality and excited for the Paper Mario run. Thank you so much for your generosity. Again, all donations are going directly to the National Women's Law Center. Thank you all so much. We also have, oh my goodness, $50 from Pittman Lionhouse. What a week. Thank you, Frame Fatales, for putting on such a wonderful event and supporting such a fantastic cause. You all are amazing. Less than three. We also have a $50 donation from Eldritch. No comment, but thank you. Thank you for your donation. We are at $130,557. We're, we're, we're flying our way to 131 k Let's go, everyone. Let's do this for the National Women's Law Center. Okay, so here, uh, I just got... Twink just gave me the lucky star here. I'm going to say no to a tutorial. Um because it's a really long one. Um, but so now that actually just gave us action commands, which means that we can do timed hits now. And I'm actually going to show that off here. Um, so now I'm going to time the jump for power jump on this Magic Koopa. It, it has eight total HP. Uh, so I am going to let just uh, advance to the next turn here. Uh, blocking that attack, as you can see, that's the first attack that I blocked. Uh, the, you'll be seeing lots of blocked attacks. Um, uh, reduces the damage by one, uh, which is really important. HP management uh, is extremely important to this run, and not just keeping it high. We actually later on will be spending a lot of time at one HP uh, because of a badge that we'll be getting later. 
Um, is it a but certain yeah. hmm? specific uh, Mega Rush. Sea badge? Is, oh, okay. Yeah, so there, there's a badge we'll be getting uh, in a little bit. It's not, it's not for a bit. Um, but it'll actually make it so that we do plus four damage when we're at one HP. We're in peril. Uh, so really good. Oh, also going to do our first out-of-bounds glitch of the game here. So if I wait for this toe to come over here, and then I spin and hammer. All right, so I'm out-of-bounds here. I'm falling. Kumbari, you know. Do a little bit of maneuvering here. And uh, I just skipped the uh, the Black Toads there. That That's Black Toad skip. Uh, with the, which is actually the Koopa Bros, but we're not going to find that out. Uh, so the way that out of bounds movement works in this game is, uh, for whatever the, for whatever reason, uh, the devs made gravity work really strangely here. So that gravity actually, the longer you fall, uh, the longer you fall, your acceleration due to gravity actually keeps um, going up, or, um, up down, whatever the proper way to say it is. Your direction reverses after you've been falling for long enough. And so that actually makes it so that eventually you start falling up. Sorry. Gotta, oh, you count. buffer overflow. <laughs> uh, not, not quite, but we actually will be doing uh, some of that later. Um, uh, this, this one's just a simple, uh, I don't know, gravity calculation. I don't know. Well, not simple. They, they made the gravity really way more complicated than they needed to. Uh, but basically that means real, if we can... <laughs> Uh, anytime we can get out of bounds, we can cross gaps by just being able to like fall to them. Uh, also here, uh, we're not very powerful early on uh, in this run, so I'm just going to be buying some power blocks and fire flowers here. Uh, so that we can, early in the game we have to fight uh, a lot of just regular uh, enemies that, and we, we definitely don't have any like good, air, well not any, area of effect attacks right now. Um, and so that'll carry us through, pr pretty much through uh, chapter one. Um, and yeah, also, the, uh, <laughs> uh, right there, that was Cooper. Uh, that's going to be our second partner, who is marginally more useful. Um, actually sees more use in some routes. Um, using a safer route for marathon here. In my PB, if I'm going for a PB, I end up going for like a bunch of really risky strats that are like more likely to fail than not. <laughs> so I had to change things up a little bit here. Um, but these fuzzies, uh, they stole Cooper's shell. And so you actually have to watch this. They, the first two rounds are pretty easy, but by the third one, it actually like, can get pretty difficult to uh, see um, where they are. So gotta pay attention here. Staying in two. If you can oh, stay I'm glad in the you were tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait till you see this one. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad to follow. Oh my god. Trees in this game are the worst. The hitboxes do not line up with what you see visually. I have to jump in real quick and say with this $500 donation from Anonymous, we are now at $131,000 raised for the National Women's Law Center. Woohoo! Yo, keep it up. It's such good progress. Oh, <laughs> oh it's just incredible. I also, I just, before, I, I got to bring this up too. We do also have that bid war open. This is obviously for Paper Mario. Bring Luigi or Ghost Luigi. So if you would like Jaycog to bring Luigi through our adventure, make sure to get your uh, don uh, donations and add that incentive for bringing Luigi, or we can ghost Luigi. And, you know, when I think about this incentive, what brings to mind is I was an older cousin, and my younger cousin, shout outs to her, was forced to play Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> every time we played any Mario game. So, you know, may perhaps donate on behalf of your cousin who uh, gracefully played Luigi, it was the Luigi to your Mario or, you know, the Tails to your Sonic, so. <laughs> and I am here to remind you that tomorrow is Mario Day, not Luigi Day. This so is true. <laughs> it's called the Super Mario Movie, not the Super Luigi Movie. Oh, I geez. think that every single time the Bring or Skip Luigi and uh, Bidor has been in a marathon, I think that Bring Luigi has won, if not every time, almost every time. So I think we should switch that up. <laughs> well, well, right now, Bring Luigi's in the lead. $60 to Ghost Luigi 25. So chat, you know what to do. You you get final say here. <laughs> you do know what to do, chat. Do it for Mario Day. <laughs> for Mario. 
Luigi had a whole year. It's Mario's turn for a day. <laughs> My poor cousin, I'm going to have to tell her the bad news tomorrow. <laughs> Chat, help me out. <laughs> uh, uh. All right, so we're on our way to Koopa Bros Fortress. Uh, this is actually one of the few parts of the run where we'll be doing... We'll actually be completing chapter one first. Uh, if you're expecting us to beat the chapters in order, uh, you will be... I don't know if disappointed is the right word. Um, but yeah, thing, things stay a little bit normal here in the beginning. But yeah, no, as time get, goes on, it'll get uh, even crazier. Um, so just for, for now, just working through here, we actually have to fight, the, do this fight uh, to get a key. Uh, there are four different keys in this fortress. We do have to get all of them. Um, you sh you'd think you'd be able to skip them, but there's like a weird thing where like one of the locks doesn't let you open it unless you've opened the previous lock, even that you even though you can get to it. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but yeah, so we're going to work our way through here. Um, also, in this next room here, uh, we're going to be picking up one of the most important badges in the entire game. Uh, extremely good uh, Power Bounce, which is a badge that lets you keep on jumping on the same enemy uh, over and over again until you miss the action command, which, th that's what it tells you. It actually lies a little bit. It does actually cut you off um, at a certain point, and that depends on the enemy. Like, on bosses, it usually cuts you off, like, around... F oh, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Okay, I actually have to keep all these coins. Hang on. Uh, I'm also going to be doing a, a glitch right here. Oh my god. Okay, okay. We're, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. This is fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a little bit of nerves, you know. Oh. You, you okay, and there we me go. both. <laughs> what? Oh, there you go. Awesome. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> all, right, all right. So that's staircase skip. Um, and that's. Uh, so basically, we're just jumping over some poorly placed collision. Um, and that lets us, well, it did let us skip the pit. Normally you have to like fight, you have to fight the Koopa that I got into an encounter with. And then that makes a switch up here that drops the stairs. And then you can go down and do, uh, the pit with the enemies and get the key. Uh, we're just going to go straight here. Um, and, uh, oh no, I fell for the trap. <laughs> the trap. <laughs> you fool. I'm a fool. Uh, no, but we have to do this. Uh, this is actually going to get us our next partner, Bombat, who is actually really good. Um, and she, on top of being able to like open walls, she's actually one of the two partners that are hard required no matter what you do. Uh, there is no glitch you can do uh, that will let you beat the game without her. Now, the other one's Lackluster, which uh, we'll be getting in a bit. Um, but okay, so we have her. And she's also really good in battle because of uh, Bomb, and later whenever we upgrade her, uh, she'll get access to Power Bomb, which lets us attack every uh, enemy, every, every ground enemy uh, on screen. Um, and so we're gonna go over here, and I'm gonna go around, around this corner. Okay, I love um, her, and Goombario, uh, sorry, it's over. <laughs> she's great. Friendship with Goombario is over. Bombette is new best friend. Uh, You'll see Grimbario one more time, so... No, it's too late. I've already ended the it's friendship. It's too late? Okay. Well... <laughs> Alright, gonna use another Fire Flower here. And then also going to... Uh, do the one more damage on this Koopa. Uh, now, we did skip... Uh, we call it the pit. It's like... Not like a formal name, but... Uh, we call it... As speedrunners, we call it the pit over here. We do because of that like weird key thing that I explained. Um, we do actually still have to do this, but now that we have Bombette, we can actually do it faster, and hopefully, if this Koopa cooperates, which sometimes he likes to be annoying... Okay, he should be good. Oh, that, oh, he was really far away. Okay, well, that's awkward. Uh, that's not a huge deal, it's just, you know, it'll lose some time, but it's fine. Speaking um, of awkward, do you mind if I jump in for two seconds? Oh yeah, go for it. I, I have to... <laughs> there's a $25 anonymous donation that just says... Ghost him, lol. <laughs> <laughs> so that is that is uh, speaking of the bring Luigi or ghost Luigi bid war. Currently, bring Luigi is still the lead, sixty dollars, but ghost Luigi is making a comeback with fifty. So you you decide, Chad. <laughs> 
Uh, I have so much love from your community too. Let me know when oh, I can. Great. Uh, I love my community. When I can read some of these off for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I actually just uh, we we just used fright jar on that on that middle fight, uh, which we. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, which we got lucky, you know, it kind of expected marathon luck to get unlucky, but uh, so each of those freight jars, uh, it, it was a 90% chance to work on each enemy. So it's like roughly, what, like an 81% chance um, for it to work on both of them. And if it fails on one, especially after like I had a, that Thunderbolt is kind of like a backup item for in here. Um, we can save time with it later if I don't have to use it, but like if I have to use two, we start losing a lot more time. Um, but okay, here in this room, I'm actually gonna... A lot of people, I think, don't know this. Uh, if you jump over the fire bars ten times, uh, they actually spawn ten coins. And so I can do that, pick up the coins. Got a nice spread of coins here. Gonna do that for both of them. Pretty sure this is a Mario Party minigame. I think so, yeah. Like, <laughs> what is it, Mario Party 1? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Dating us a little bit there. <laughs> Your age is showing. I mean, this is an N64 game. <laughs> oh. Granted, it was like one of the last to come out, but still. All right, so just going through here, picking up some keys. Um. Okay, also going to be ha uh, doing... Hopefully I don't fail them. Uh, they're not hard, but if you fail them, they're pretty punishing. Uh, so we're going to be doing some pie jumps named after I ate your pie. Uh, oh who goodness. found them, like, Great literally name. over a decade ago at this point. <laughs> speaking speaking Ooh, of dating Speaking people. of dating, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so, you're supposed to do this puzzle over here. You're supposed to, like, you know, use Cooper on this switch, and then, like, get across and uh, use him again so that you can go across the middle wall. Uh, but we can kind of just, like... Oh my god. Let's not fall. Yeah, we can just kind of jump around them. The jump arounds are the pie jumps. Yeah, those are the pie jumps. Oh, yep. Okay, that's amazing, and I'm <laughs> actually impressed. I ate your pie as a, a nice gentleman, and I'm proud of him. <laughs> this is probably one of the greatest, one of the greatest contributions to speedrunning he's made. I mean, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it saves like I don't know, 15 seconds or something. I mean, that's not. I, that's I not kid. Just he's, he's done a lot for speedrunning, but it's a good joke. Please laugh. Please clap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, picking up the last key there. Um, okay, I'm going to. Uh, I'm trying to think. Is this, so there's not really like a whole lot um, in this section. Just gonna be like advancing. Gonna have the bullet bills. Gonna um, be fighting the cannons. Uh, but yeah, if you wanted to get some more donations in, this is probably a good time. I would love to. So so much love. Your community loves you. We have. <laughs> $50 from Super Jamoose. This ain't your mom's Paper Mario speedrun. Oh no. This is a JCOG speedrun. Mittenzy and I are so proud of you and how far you have come. Go fast. Get after it. You got this. I also see some puns coming in, which I absolutely, I mean, I love puns. We have $50 no, yeah, <laughs> from Evie May. What's Mario's favorite meal of the day? Dinner, dinner, dinner. No. Dinner, dinner, dinner. No, no. You, <laughs> Thanks you for a great right right week of runs, fatales, and friends. And thank you for that donation. Ah, oh, so lovely. We also have a $50 donation from Elegant Fugue. Glitch incentive, you say? Let's kick that off, too. Yes, let's indeed. To give an update, we are at $2,635 of the 7000 needed for JCOG to show off some glitches. So that, you know, we are making a great headway on that. We're about 37%. I believe in you, chat. We are going to get there. It is going to be awesome. And when we smash that, I'm saying when we smash that incentive, that means we're also going to smash the totals for Frost 20. 22 and flame 2022 i believe in you chat let's go i didn't say it right let's -a go a <laughs> uh, fun little thing i want to point out there uh, i just use so i just used uh pal blocks on the cannons and the bullet bills there uh so contr contrary <laughs> Uh, c contrary, contrary to what, whatever. So what people uh, think, uh, Poplocks actually don't care uh, in this game if the enemy is on the ground or not. They actually hit flying enemies just fine. 
Uh, I think they may have changed that in TTYD, in the sequel. Um, but yeah, no, in this one you can, they just hit everything. And chat just okay. hit $132,000. Let's go. Amazing. Great work, everyone. This is so wonderful to see. Oh, my and, and Bowser's what falling big apart. Teeth you have. <laughs> He is, yeah. What big teeth uh, so, you have. Was, so we killed Bowser. Uh, GG. <laughs> GG, game over, we win. Uh, so I actually uh, killed him in a specific way there. I killed him so that um, uh, Bombette still had her turn. And so that actually lets it, me go immediately. So we get to skip uh, the Koopa Rose turn, who normally get to go right away here. And then I'm going to use a Pal Block right here. And that's going to keep them down for another turn. Uh, they all each have a total of five HP, and so now if I just use a Fire Flower here, uh, yeah, we just, they just they just all die off. Which how is, kind of is disrespectful? It is, and it's also a shame because like <laughs> this song is so good for this fight, and we didn't even like we didn't even get to the best part of it, but you know, gotta go fast. <laughs> oh my okay, goodness! Okay, so that's our first chapter beaten. What what's that? So I, I'm sorry for the gasp, but uh, Bring Luigi has just jettisoned to the lead with a $500 anonymous <laughs> donation, which is incredible. Thank you. But Bring Luigi is now up $560 to Ghost Luigi at $70. Ooh. So chat, you know, you've got some work to do if you want to well, Ghost Luigi, mm. just saying. And I know there's a I few people who want to Ghost this. Luigi. It's faster. It's faster to ghost him. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe you have done this. Uh, and, well, everyone, okay. we're horribly offended because of Mario Day tomorrow. No, not really. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was our first chapter completed. Um, and you'll, you'll sell, you actually saw, thank you, uh, only six more to go. Uh, and so that was the first, uh, you, you saw the cards. So whatever, this category is called all cards. And so those are the cards that we're talking about. Those cards, uh, the the definition of the category, it, it, it says that you have to touch all seven of those cards. Um, that wording is important. Uh, you'll see why later. Here it's pretty normal. Uh, it just, you know, we, we advance things as normal. We're getting our first peach cut scene. Uh, this is actually the only one we're going to be seeing for a while. Because um, we have a way to skip, touch the card and skip a lot of them. Um, this one we can't, though, unfortunately. Are you telling me that we could just look at the cards? No, we have to touch it. We have to touch yeah, it. Yeah, but we can't like, just look. could we just, I mean, like, not in this run specifically, but we in, could. in the game in general, we could just the route look at The would cards. work exactly the same if we just looked at them. I've actually, I, I actually brought it up recently. <laughs> Um, in our community Discord, that I I, I kind of think that we should change the de definition just so that we could, because I we'll we'll get there, we'll get there. But I kind of think <laughs> that it's kind of silly what we do. It it kind of uh, I don't want to explain it now because it makes more sense uh, if you can like see what I'm talking about. But it, it kind of just stems from like ancient like how they define the category, um, and they're just like, well, that's what the rule says. <laughs> <laughs> always, always. It's so funny. I love the lore, though, and the history of, of how, you know, the categories came to be. Oh, yeah, no, the, and this one has, this one has a good one. I think, I think it initially was just like, we want a category that beats all the chapters. And, um, you know, they came up with it. And the definition made sense at the time, but, you know, glitches keep getting discovered in this game. Times okay. change and glitches change with them. <laughs> they do, yeah. Actually, uh, I'll be showing off in a little bit. Uh, the, legitimately, the biggest glitch to be found in the... Or at least the most impactful glitch to be found in this game, and at least since I've been running the game since, like, 2018. Um, and it, it, seed duping. And so that got discovered a little bit over a year ago and kind of just, like, completely changed everything up. Um, and so that's one of the reasons, I think this is the first time that it's been shown in all cards in a GDQ setting. So really excited to show that off uh, and what all like that lets us do. Uh, okay, so this, we're about to fight Junior Troopa here, who's going to be really mad at us, I think because we skipped him earlier. Um, <laughs> he, uh, you know, he wanted some screen time. 
So he's oh going to ambush us. Is, is he so in an cute. egg? Is he in an egg? He is in an egg. Oh my goodness. Friendship with Bombette over. She's hatched. <laughs> Okay, and so this fight, if I saw the Thunderbolt from earlier, I would use it here for a slightly faster fight. Um, but instead, uh, we'll just have to take an extra turn. Just a little bit slower, not that big of a deal. Um, so we're just going to do some power jumps and bombs and a hammer. Uh, also coming up here, uh, you see I've saved up 50 coins. Um, and so I'm actually, we're going to be getting one of the most important badges of the game, a Speedy Spin, which... Um, it makes it so that our spin both goes farther and faster. And so that speeds things up, like... It, it, hard to say exactly, it's just, you know, it, it's for the entire run. Like, all of our movement becomes faster. Significantly. Uh, now, the only, significantly. Uh, now, the only caveat here is that we have to buy it from the bad shop, and the bad shop has a... Um, it has a 25% chance of not having speedy spin in stock. Uh, I play a game in my chat. You can see some uh, people in chat guessing numbers. I play a game uh, where I like have them guess, and if they, uh, it, it, whenever I'm on my stream, if they guess it right, um, I'll like give them a sub. I have like a VIP raffle thing set up uh, as well. But hopefully, we get it first try. Seventy-five percent chance. Uh, I feel for like anyone playing. Oh my god, that's a three, two, one. <laughs> Classic. Okay, so to reload the bad shop, we have to go two screens away and then reload it. What was oh, that? That's so funny. I was going to say, I feel like Speedy Spin is like a mandatory speedrun badge. Like, you cannot complete oh, yeah. the run without Speedy Spin. Like, even if Speedy Spin was bad, you would have to get it to complete the run as a speedrunner. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Okay, now I'm about to do the uh, one of the biggest sequence breaks in the game. So now that we have Speedy Spin, we've beaten Chapter 1. Uh, you see this blue house here? We can just kind of... Uh... Hopefully I get this quick. Oh, come on. Are we Speedy Spinning it? Come on. There we go. She's Ooh, been Speedy uh, Spinning the whole Yeah, time. so there is a... You can do a frame-perfect jump right there. Um... Oh, missed the pipe. Okay, and we can go in this pipe. And so this normally doesn't open up until after you've gotten to chapter five, actually. Wow. So we're, uh, yeah, so we're in a part of the run now where, uh, so we're not, before we beat any more chapters, we actually have to go through here and um, we have to get some stuff. And so the first thing that we're gonna be do doing, oh, we're gonna be going to chapter five to get sushi. Uh, to do yeah. that here, we're going to un uh, unlock the shortcut pipe here by uh, beating Blooper. And this is where Power Bounce Caps that I mentioned earlier are going to start to come in. I'm going to count here. Is Blooper the sushi? No, he's Calamari. Oh, I see. Okay, 13. That was good. That's impressive. Uh, no, we're here so this is Blooper, we're here yeah. Sushi is the part we're going to be getting. <laughs> Jake Hogg's trying to count. We're like, no, it's Calamari, actually. <laughs> Okay, 24. I was good that time. Uh, yeah. yeah uh, so I can breathe. <laughs> you'll always get at least eight jumps on blooper. Uh, theoretically, you could get all the way up to... Um, uh, theoretically, you could get all the way up to uh, actually 101, but wow. like the RNG to get that would be insane. I think the highest anybody's actually gotten in real time is... Uh, I want to say 20. I don't think anyone's ever gotten 21. Um, but yeah, so this just lets us skip straight to chapter five. You can see Sushi up there. Who are these little guys? Uh, these are Yoshis. Uh, don't get too Yoshi! attached. No, what do you mean not... don't get too attached? <laughs> well, I, they're, they're not going to make it. No, it's uh -huh. okay. I played Mario Maker. We're good. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Poor Yoshi. Uh, <laughs> so now I'm, I'm just advancing the story a little bit here. Uh, so I have to talk to Colorado here. Um, just advancing the story to the position where we can get where we can get sushi, um, and she's actually we're we're setting up to be able to do, um, to be able to do sea duping, um, which again I will explain as we get closer. There's so many things to explain in this run. 
Um, also, I should probably point out that I've been upgrading my FP. Uh, I've had two level ups, so I now have 15. Wait, that's illegal. <laughs> you're going no. to. You're getting a speeding ticket. You're going too fast. Citizen, a law abiding citizen. Thank you very much. <laughs> Listen, I saw what you did to those walls at that house <laughs> into that pipe. That was definitely a B and E. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 well, wait till you see what we're about to be doing uh, here in a second. Okay, so this is Sushi. Uh, not supposed to get her until way later. Um, skipped a few partners along the way as well. Um, and also, we're going to be getting a badge over here. Not going to be using it immediately, but this is just the best time to get it. Uh, this is Power Quake. Uh, this is just like, let's use your hammer on... Uh, oh, nice, nice. Nice first strike. Be hard to dodge sometimes. Guarding this island. This Would it be alright if I read a few more donations from, from your community? Oh yeah, go for it. Could probably keep it like two in. Okay. We have ten dollars from a toy SR. Hiya J Cog. Seeing you grow throughout your streams has been an honor. Thank you for providing one of the most wholesome spaces in existence. Good luck on the pape. Less than oh, three. So lovely. We also have $10 from Yoshizilla. Jacob, it's so great to see you running all cards for this amazing event. And for you to be the finale? That's amazing. You are an amazing runner and friend of mine, and I'm so happy to see you running for another GDQ event. I know how much passion you have for speedrunning, and I know that you will do amazing. Much love for myself and, of course, Yoshi Mom, who is still one of your biggest fans. Close out strong, and thanks for being such an amazing friend in my life. Oh. <laughs> so nice. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to do a thing here. And if you get into a really pos precise position, uh, you can just swim on the land here. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is Sushi Glitch. Uh, and this is actually, I started uh, sea tubing and I saved there because it is possible if I mess this up to softlock. So it just as a safety. Um, but we're going to be doing a thing here, uh, th and this was discovered a little bit over a year ago. It was a trick that I theorized, I think, all the way back in, like, 2019. Uh, but basically, so in order to get into Chapter 6, we need... Uh, you're supposed to get all four of the um, magical seeds that the Bulbulbs give you throughout the game. And so we can actually partially bypass that by duplicating those seeds. And so in order to do that, what I need to do is I need to... Uh, do a glitch to enable movement during the cutscene where one of them gives me the seed, and then I am going to uh, advance the dialogue far enough that he gives it to me, and you actually get the seed as soon as, uh, like he, as soon as he gives it to you. But the flag that says that you finish the conversation doesn't uh, get set until you completely finish the conversation, which is uh, after that. And so to do that, we're going to take advantage of the game that the devs never really intended for you to be able to get into battles while you're riding sushi. And so if I do that, and then I run away from this fight, and then I'm going to do it again, and encounter this fuzzy again. Uh, this is, I'm going to swap partners here. Uh, this is actually going to um, get a certain value in memory the controls, whether or not you can do cutscenes. This is like, we're going to underflow the value. So it's uh, currently at 255. You can kind of see the cameras all like acting a little strange here. Now, if I... Oh. Okay, good. So you can see the, uh, the dialogue's going. Uh, I just got the seed right there. But the dialogue's still up, and I'm going to leave the room while it's happening. Okay, uh, we're going to be doing that again. Uh, so, but first we're going to take a little bit, bit of a detour. It's just a little bit faster to do it this way. I'm uh, going to get another seed right here. Uh, just working on getting uh, a bunch of seeds. We do have to get at least three of the seeds that we get have to be unique. And so that's kind of just like what we're working on right here. Is getting all these seeds. All right, now we're going to go to Mount Rugged. And I'm actually going to swap out my controllers here. I usually like to play with a GameCube controller, but there's uh, a glitch I'm about to do that's easier to do with an N64 controller. Uh, so I just switch for this one. 
I love the swap. This is great. This is a real gamer moment. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm an SM64 runner doing Bowser throws or something. Yep. <laughs> Um, and also, it's worth noting that we actually are skipping Paracarry in this run, uh, which is why we came here later. Uh, that lets us skip the train cutscene there, which normally we would have to watch. And also, Paracarry's uh, dialogue, or his cutscene that usually appears there, uh, will no lo it won't anymore. Also, if we have any Wacka lovers in the chat, you might want to look away. <laughs> I saw there's that prize for people who are donating. <laughs> The, um, which, the, oh my the god, it's, it looks one? so good. It is <laughs> so amazing. Uh, but unfortunately, Wacka's bumps are just too good. 25 HP and FP, like, for basically for free. Well, at the cost of your morals, I guess. I don't know. Who needs um, those so there's when a... you got XP? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this. So there's actually a gap in the collision here. Okay, good. No, that was really good. Fantastic. Okay, so I... But I just kind of... Yeah. Oh no! I'm in. <laughs> so this is how we get this without paracarry. Uh, this seed. Oh uh, yeah, so there's like a gap in the collision there, and the reason that I need it, that I'm using an N64 controller, is because uh, you can actually like remap your neutral position uh, by holding RL and pressing start, and that just lets me hold like a really consistent position, and if I spin and immediately move the analog stick... Um, and whack it again, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> My heart. <laughs> yeah, it lets me land out of bounds, do a little bit of out of bounds movement. And then, um, yeah, <laughs> can fall to where the seat is. All right, and so that's everything that we need here. Uh, I am going to save again, just in case. Uh, for the seed dupe. Because we're going to do it again, because we need more seeds. Uh, so for anyone keeping track, we currently have three... Three seeds, and they're all unique. I can swap controllers back. Is it okay if I jump in to let you all know that we have surpassed $133,000 for the National Women's Law Center, which means we've also surpassed our total from Frost Fatals 2022? It's amazing. Oh. Way to go, everyone. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's incredible. Our, yeah. <laughs> our next goal, chat, just so everyone is aware, is $137,000 to surpass Flame Fatales 2022, which will mean we would become the second highest raising event in Frame Fatales history. I believe in you, chat. We are less than 4K away from that. We have that glitch exhibition incentive open right now so make sure when you're donating you add that incentive so you can see jcog work magic at the end of this run it's a, it's gonna be really good <laughs> so i'm excited some new stuff in there that you probably haven't seen before some stuff that i actually like i actually discovered uh within the last year that's fantastic uh yeah, and we're actually going to be... You can probably read a couple more donations. I'm actually about to do, like, literally exactly what I just did. Uh, with the seed dupe again. So. Oh, we have donations. They are... They're rolling in. We have $20 from Guppy. Good luck on the run, Cog. Hi to Rolo2, and let's get that glitch exhibition incentive. So that is sitting at $3,199 of the $7,000 we need to see that incentive, which means as when we get that, we are smashing our way through Frame Fatale's history. Oh, we, we have so much more. We have you can read more, yeah. Twenty-five dollars from Wheezy Dragon. Gotta donate to an amazing cause during one of my absolute favorite games. Sorry, Wacka, for all the bonks over the years. Wacka! <laughs> we also have twenty-five dollars from Lexilogical. Hi, hey, Jay Cog. I've been looking forward to your run all week. Crush this run! Thank you so much for all your donations. We even have $5 from Autumn Shine Spark. Good luck, Jay Cog. You can beat this game in no time flat. <laughs> so lovely. No, you take that one home. Oh. <laughs> okay, so for this one, I'm going to be doing... So I'm going to be doing the C dupe, same as I did it before. Um, you have to time an A press. Uh, oh my god. You don't want to be too late. If I'm too late... That's what causes a soft lock. Okay, I'm actually going to go to a different loading zone here, though. 
um, than I did the first time. I'm going to get the seed here. And then I'm going to... This one will let me just immediately go back into the room. And so now I can just go right back. We don't need to duplicate any more seeds, but we do want to get the, the, seed, uh, the last seed that he has right here. And so if you're counting, we have five total seeds right now, which is uh, more than we need to be able to get in uh, to Flower Fields, which is what we want to do right now. Um, and so that's actually going to come into play later. Now, the, uh, and I'll, I'll explain it more whenever we get to that. That'll be probably, that'll, not for a while. Um, but Mint here, if we give her, so first what we're going to do is we're going to plant three different unique seeds. And if three different seeds are planted and you plant a fourth seed, the game does not check which seed it, the, the fourth one is. It's just like, oh, you've planted three different seeds and you're planting a fourth one. That must be the one. Uh, that must be the last one, you know, process of elimination. And so Minty just kind of plants the same seed again, and then the door opens. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> yep, and the cutscene goes, yeah. <laughs> okay, now we're not actually going to beat Chapter 6 right now. What we're going to be doing is we're here to get the most broken partner in the game, Lackalester, or Lackey, as you'll hear me call him. Uh, he is just bar none the most broken um, and in order to do that without normally you have to like you know play through most of the chapter to get to him uh, I'm going to be doing early lackey uh, so if you remember loading stone storage from back when I skipped junior uh, a different property of that is that if you uh, actually skew your angle so you get really far perpendicular uh, from the loading zone the game actually transfers that uh, into the next room and if you do it to uh, such an extreme as what I'm going to do you can actually uh fall out of bounds, and if I do that just right... Frame perfect jump jumps, by the way. Incredible. Oh, <laughs> okay, no, perfect. Okay, so yeah, I landed on an out of bounds seam, and I just, uh, this is gonna let me cross this gap that you're not supposed to be able to do until you have the bubble berry. I, I, uh, if you're wondering, like, wh what, what's that? <laughs> I just have to say, these this donations are coming, and I want to make sure we get them in. We have a five hundred dollar oh, anonymous donation that reads, "Thank you, Frost Fatals. Thank you for that donation. We are so close to one hundred and thirty-four thousand. We are flying." <laughs> we also have two hundred dollars from Doctor Spaceman. Let's raise some paper and see that glitch expo. Thank you so much for your donation. Oh my goodness. We also have $25 from Mask of Barona. The Mario's may be paper, but the donations are not. Credit card Mario doesn't have the same ring to it though. <laughs> Thank you for that <laughs> donation. Oh, and we also have $25 from Brandino. Shout out to Jaycog for being a friendly gamer and having a great community for the last few years. I used to rent this game repeatedly from Blockbuster. I'll never forget my first time picking it up. Go fast. Thank you so much for your donation. Uh, just a reminder, we're at $3,724 of the $7,000 needed for that Glitch Expo. And we're less than 100 away from 134 k Let's go chat. Yeah, and this fight is actually, like, really simple. I'm just using power jumps and squirt from sushi over and over. So, yeah, you can go ahead and read a few more. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I also want to shout out that we have $3,274 left until we become the second highest raising event in Frame Fatale's history. So, let's go. We have $50 from Alien Crustacean. Gotta know this glitz glitch exhibition is not going to fall flat. Less than three. Thank you for that donation. Uh, so kind. We also have $250 from One True Gerbot. I wasn't able to catch much of the marathon this week, but I'm glad I could make it here for the end. Happy to get here in time to support NWLC and all the amazing runners and staff putting on this awesome event. Let's go, girl power. Less than three. And with that, we have reached $134,000 raised for Yo. the National Women's Law Center. Amazing. Mm. And it's still going. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps going up. 
It's fantastic. We're going to get there. 3,909 of the 7,000 for that glitch expo. Let's go. I've got to remember to go, let's -a go. That's way more appropriate. We have another $250 from Vacuum. Thanks to all the runners, staff, and chat for another amazing Fatals event, Less Than Three. Thank you, Less Than Three to you too. Okay, so I just got Lackey, who, like I mentioned earlier, is easily the most broken partner in the game, glitch-wise. He's not that good in battles, uh, but outside of battles, just insanely good. And so we are going to do another thing that um, uh, being able to get Lackey this early is just huge for this run uh, that Seed Duping enables. And so that's actually our next goal is going to be to go get the Ultra Boots, which are, uh, are the second boot upgrade you're supposed to get. We're skipping the Super Boots entirely. Uh, real quick, just to, to prepare for later, I'm actually going to go in here. And since we're in a Chapter 6 state, the game thinks we're in Chapter 6, this door that's usually locked is just open. I can grab the train, which the toy train, which is uh, for in the Shy Guy's toy box in Chapter 4. Um, Wait, that's illegal. It's, well, it's, it's, it's open. You <laughs> just stole <laughs> from that guy. He, he opened it. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, but um, continuing on here, in order to do it, uh, this trick is actually like really difficult. Again, it's another one where I, I saved, uh, but there's, just in case, but there is uh, a chance of soft lock if I mess it up. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go over here. We don't have the ultra hammer, or we don't even have the super hammer for that matter. And there are some blocks in the way. So what I'm gonna be doing is gonna be getting a state known as Clippy. So if I encounter this enemy, Good, okay, first try. Uh, so I frame perfectly open the partner menu there uh, while encountering that enemy. And so what that's gonna do is it's actually going to uh, get me into this state where I'm like, it, it sort of forced me off Lackey twice and over, uh, or underflowed the value. Oh, there we go. Uh, that says that I'm riding Lackey. And what that does in this context is it actually gives me like a smaller hitbox. When Mario's riding Lackey, he has a smaller hitbox. And so that gives me the ability to just kind of jump up on top of these blocks. And this one's a little bit harder. The spacing's a little bit tighter. You have to do... Oh, God. That's fine. It's a little awkward. I do have to be careful. So cool. uh, whenever I have Clippy, if I open the partner menu in battle, it actually... That's one thing that could soft lock me. Let me get this guy out of the way. Oh. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. It was good. This trick can go really poorly, um, so honestly, I'm not even upset with this. A lot of the times, it's just like redoing the encounters over and over. But there we go. Okay, good. Okay. I will take that. Uh, yeah, so basically, um, also when you're in that state, for some reason, and this I actually don't know, uh, whenever you next hop on Lackey, it kind of teleports you down to the Y coordinate of where Lackey is, but it teleports Lackey to the X and Z coordinates where Mario is. I'm gonna get a hidden life shroom here, uh, mostly for safety. Um, but yeah, and it just kind of like teleports you down behind that block. And so now I have the ultra boots, which is huge both for like um, being able to skip the super boots, which are normally required, um, but also um, it's really good for battles. And it is worth, uh, and we're also we're about to. Um, it's actually time to go beat some chapters. We've uh, we've gotten the things that we need to get. Um, also, the first strike there—you actually have to go way earlier, uh, way earlier than you'd probably expect. And so, the next chapter that we are actually going to go to is chapter three. So, for anyone keeping track, we've been to a lot of chapters, and we but we've only beaten chapter one so far. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go. And beat Tubba. That's our goal here. Uh, we're going to take the shortcut pipe. These blue shortcut pipes are huge in this run. Um, and just putting a Power Quake to use. Luckily, Power Quake's damage, um, it does not matter your hammer upgrade. Uh, Power Quake uh, always does the same amount of damage. Uh, there's just like different levels of the badge that you can get. Um, but taking advantage of that. 
These guys each have 8 HP. Otherwise, they'd be really difficult to beat. And then going to... And I'm just picking up coins for lag reduction. Don't actually need them. All right, one more over here. They're okay, so cool. Now, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so after we go through this pipe, so this is going to take us right outside Boo's mansion. And actually, we never, if I was doing a PB attempt, we would never even need to go into the mansion at all. Um, we could just skip it. And I actually am at first. I am just going to skip it. So because I was in chapter six, the game actually considers me to still be in a chapter six state. Go to upgrade BP here, which will let me equip more badges. Um, Drop the, drop the switch. Okay, so... Yeah, so right out here... Um, skip having to... Uh, importantly, it's going to let us skip uh, leaving. Uh, skip having to fight Junior Troop on the way out. But I can just go straight here without doing Boo's Mansion, because since the game thinks that I'm in a Chapter 6 state, it just lets me go through the gate. It's like, oh, you already beat this. You already had Bo open the gate. It's just fine. And so I can just go through here, going to save here, uh, there's actually a gap coming up. I, I pr it's probably fine. Uh, but there is a gap coming up that you're supposed to have paracarry uh, to get across, but we don't. Um, I'm going to pick yeah, up a repel gel here for later. Speaking of ghosts, yeah, we can I them. jump in real quick with a couple ghosty yeah, donations? It. We have $20 from Shiraj putting in $20 to Ghost Luigi since he could always attend with Zoom. <laughs> we, we also have $50 from Demon Fire. I'm pretty sure Luigi likes ghosts. He has several mansions of them. So <laughs> thank you for that donation. To give you an update, we do have that bid war. It's to either bring Luigi or ghost Luigi. And right now, bring Luigi is in the lead. $570 to ghost Luigi's 95. And, and you said, uh, Jaycog, that ghosting Luigi is faster? It is faster, yeah. It is faster. That and, and I would tomorrow's Mario Day. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Luigi Day. It's not Luigi Day. Day. It's Mario Day. <laughs> That's right. And I also just want to let you know that we are only three thousand dollars away from our glitch exhibition, and also less than three thousand dollars away from being the second highest raising event in Frame Frame Tales history. So let's go. Let's keep it up, chat. You're amazing. It's so close. Okay, so we're going to wait through Tilbis Castle here. And actually, it's worth no uh, also worth noting, lots of things worth noting. Uh, so I'm going to be, throughout this run, pretty heavily manipulating sequence. And the, the way that sequence works in this game, for the most part, there's one variable in memory that we call the like your story progress. And that one variable is like hard-coded to be changed by certain things that you do in the game. And... Um, so it, the, what I actually just did by entering the mansion for the first time, that is hard coded to be uh, a sh uh, that's hard coded to put you into a chapter three state. So I was in a chapter six state, but now by going through that door, I am back in a chapter six state. Or sorry, I wasn't a six. Now I'm in a three. And so what that means is that we can just luckily it works out. We can just continue on um, as normal. As though we were, you know, just got to this chapter normally. Also, we can do some fancy movement here to skip having to use bow with spikes. So I guess actually in that regard, um, having speedy spin is required for that. Oh, Unless we want to get wow. bow earlier. I like how the sushi is just like skewered in the spikes too. <laughs> <laughs> just fine. Uh. Okay, also gonna do, we don't have paracarry, so to get across here, need to do some more loading zone, LDS jumps. Oh. I can get them. Okay, this is gonna let me get on top of the bed. So you know and then... <laughs> okay, now I just got Mega Rush. Uh, and so, and I just equipped it. And so what that does is it makes it so that whenever I'm in peril, whenever I have exactly one HP, um, Mario gets plus four attack. So I'm actually right here gonna damage down Oh, this is scary. Well, get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. you. You're the professional. Me. You yeah, can't so, make me. So Power Quake was doing four damage before, right? 
Now it's doing eight. Fantastic. <laughs> No, I do have to be careful here not to pick up any heart drops, because we want to stay at 1 HP. Okay, didn't get any. I'm going to pick up this maple here. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be spending a lot of time at 1 HP. Um, I do have a life shroom, which I don't want to use, um, but you know, if it makes you feel any safer, it's not. I won't get a game over if I get hit or anything. I'll just lose the life shroom, and I can back that up. Well, that's, that's a relief. Not too scary. <laughs> Only moderately scary. <laughs> Only moderately, yeah. So maybe okay, we uh, shouldn't bring Luigi then, because he would be scared. He would be, exactly. We wouldn't want to freak him out. Okay, I'm going to go for... I, I might not get this, uh, so this trick. I only get one shot at it. Um, it's really funny if I get it, though. Uh, so this is called Yaki Trick Shot. I'm going to try and open the chest over over here that has Lackey in it at the same time that I trigger the cutscene with Tubba coming in. So let's see if I can get this. Ah, I didn't get it. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. It looks really funny because you can get, you can get like... So Tubba has like a, a bubble that, you know, is coming out of his... Well, I was going to say nose, but I don't see a nose. Uh, but whenever he's sleeping. Um, and you, if you overlap the cutscene correctly, you can actually get it to like come out of his butt. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I didn't get it. It's frame perfect, like a lot of things are in this game. Uh, for anyone who's like interested potentially in speedrunning this game, I am mentioning I am doing a lot of really difficult tricks. Um, but I do want to point out that we have beginner routes for everything. Um, you can skip doing. We can. Uh, we have easier beginner routes that don't do all of the difficult tricks or have like easier alternatives. So if I'm intimidating you, please d don't be that intimidated. We have a really good community, uh, really good, good resources um, for anyone looking to get into this game. And it is a really good one to get into. Certainly fun to watch. <laughs> I'm enjoying this thoroughly. Yeah. Okay, so it's almost chasing us. Uh, fun fact, you can actually stand at that door that I just came through. Oh, uh, you can stand there forever. He actually won't come through until you uh, until you get far enough away. You know, if you wanted to freak anybody out watching. Okay. So now we are... Also, by the way, the song, Banger. <laughs> this game is just filled top to bottom with such good songs. Uh, we could also probably fit in a couple donations. I'm just going to be making my way to the boss. You've got it. I've got $5 from Van La Faxine Queen. Hey, Jacob. It's wonderful seeing a speedrunning event dedicated to women as you don't see us a lot in this community. And it's supporting a great cause. I know you'll nail this run. Thank you for that donation. We also have $155 from Crimson Decoded. I spent countless hours playing Paper Mario, and to this day, I've probably beaten it casually more times than any other game. It's always great to see it showing up in GDQ and FF. Let's get that Glitch Expo. So to update us on that Glitch Expo, it is sitting at $4,059 of the $7,000 needed to see Jaycog do some fancy glitches and tricks at the conclusion of this run. I want to see it. I know you want to see it. So get those donations in. And when you're donating, be sure to add that incentive. Okay, so this fight right up here. Uh, remember how I got... I'm, I'm in peril. I have 1 HP. And remember how I, uh, I said Power Bounce lets you jump on the same enemy over and over? Uh, well, that applies... That plus four applies to every single jump. Uh, with power bounce, and so actually we can do some insane oh, no. damage with this combo. So if I go and just, you know, you know, just just a little bit. Oh no, he never stood a chance. <laughs> he really doesn't, and he he takes his first turn to charge, so he doesn't even attack us. And uh... is it a yeah. strawberry, a heart, oh. or a nut? What is it? Uh, yes. That's a heart. That's Tubba Blubba's heart. Okay. So okay. the story with this chapter is that and I think it's supposed to be like based on some Japanese like no. <laughs> I'll just say lore. I don't think it's lore. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like I, I can't think of the word. But like a Japanese story, um, fable or something. 
Um, but basically, he is invincible so long as his heart is separate from his body. Um, but whenever you beat up the heart, it actually like goes and rejoins it. So like we couldn't attack Tava earlier. If I had got, tried to get into battle, he's actually invincible. Um, cannot beat him. Um, but now that he is reunited with his heart, he has 10 HP. And now he, now he has 0 HP. <laughs> I mean, that's so sad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was bullying the boos. Okay. Like, we didn't get to and see the cuts. I mean, he, he's, <laughs> am I bullying them? I mean, he's eating them. But also, is, the, the, the boos were bullying him before he got powers. It's... it's, 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 it's no it's one's really in the right here. <laughs> But he's crying. Exactly, him, he's crying but... and running away. Oh, but look at this cute boo. <laughs> okay, I'm over yeah, it. Bo. Yeah, cute boo. Uh, she asks uh, if she if I if she can join my party. I said yes, and then she doesn't <laughs> because I never actually got her. <laughs> okay, Rude, she she her you. I said, <laughs> oh, she's got. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said that um, this is the first card that we're gonna touch, but we're not actually gonna get. Uh, so I'm actually gonna save in case I mess th mess this up. I'm gonna go back to the previous room. If I do loading, if I do LZS jumps into the card, what I can do, and you'll see. Hopefully, I don't mess. Th this one's really easy to mess up. I feel like we always say that, but then no one would ever know. <laughs> oh, you would know. Okay, okay, I got it. Woo! So you heard the sounds, and actually, you, I come into this room, and the card is gone. <laughs> Where'd it go? Um, it, it just disappeared. I didn't get this. Okay, so this is why this is, like, really weird and just, like, an artifact of um, the category. And uh, oh, So many things to explain. Okay, I'll explain that in a second. Uh, the thing that I'm going to do now, uh, so I actually don't need to come in here. Uh, like I said earlier, we don't need Bo for, uh, to beat this category. But, and I don't have Paracarry, so I gotta... Sushi, you're in my way. I can't see. Oh my god, okay. Well, that's awkward. Um, I need to get Boo's portrait here. So we are actually going to get Bo for Marathon Safety. It makes the 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 uh, fights at the end of the run just so much safer. Because um, otherwise, like the, like, the strategies that I use when I'm going for a PB, it's like uh, most of my runs die to them just not working uh, because of RNG. Not even my fault. Okay, you have to get like all the way to the edge here. Like, it's probably not far enough. Oh, you look like you're falling off. There we go. Whew. Almost. No, almost. No. Okay, <laughs> I got it. Cooper, no. It's fine. It's fine. Um, also, the uh, just like entering the door to um, Tubba's castle, uh, entering the door to Boo's mansion. Uh, like I just did, is also a trigger the first time you do it to put you into the proper story state for the mansion. And so that's why I can come here. Uh, if I had, like, entered the mansion and left and then did the beaten chapter three and come back here, I wouldn't be able to do this because the game would still consider me to have beaten the chapter. But instead, I can just do this, skip all of the intro stuff with, like, having to... Yeah, because I have ultra boots already, I don't need to get super boots. And so I can just go, in, yeah, I can just break that panel and go straight to getting Boo's portrait, and then we can just come here and get Bo. We won't actually use her until the very end of the run, uh, and you can see you can see how long this takes. Also, apparently the Star Spear isn't saved because you know it's still there, but <laughs> if it was a spirit, couldn't it just spear it itself out? Well, sort of. I guess he's like trapped in the card. Somehow, I don't know exactly the lore here. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, we have a bow. And uh, so, it, very useful here, we have a blue pipe that we can just leave with. Because uh, normally you'd be forced to um, fight Junior Shrupa on the way out through Forever Forest, and we just don't want to do that. Uh, I didn't even want to see him. Okay, we don't though, we don't. Okay, gonna eat this maple, drink this maple. Um, and also, next thing, we we wanna be chapter five next. That's the next one that we wanna be. Um, but we don't wanna have to do everything leading up to it. We wanna get straight to the volcano. So I'm gonna do a trick here. Hopefully I can get it quickly. I'll explain it after I do it. Ah, 
close. That shy guy has no mercy. No, and I'm attacking. I'm attacking him too. So I'm, you know. Also, new oh canon God, Mario's Canadian drinking that maple. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there we go. Woo. Okay, so what I just did... Okay, oh, that's fine. Um, oh, so what I just oh. did right there is I... Um, so you can... Very niche knowledge in this game. So you can actually buffer a spin. And what that means is like, right before the end of a spin, you press spin again, but then you hold C down. And for some reason that stores it so that you can like, when you let go of C, C down, then the spin comes out. But also another thing that releases it is uh, the, the dialogue from Colorado, which is why I was bombing Colorado there. And so if I have Colorado's dialogue interrupt the, uh, my jump, then it actually freezes me in the air. And then I can jump in midair, get a, like basically a double jump, um, basically a double jump by jumping again right as the dialogue is over and I can get over the invisible wall that was keeping me um, from getting out of bounds. And now we're straight into the volcano. Uh, a lot, a big theme in this uh, this run, since we did skip Paracarry, is there's like a w way easier version of that trick that uses him. Uh, but you know, we can, we can. It makes the category a lot harder to skip him. But if you're if you're good, if, if you get everything quickly, it's definitely faster this way. So we're gonna get a hidden life shroom right here. Oh yeah, and another thing, we have Lackey here, which is really nice for crossing the lava. Again, you would need Paracarry, typically, to be able to get around here. Um, we're gonna get the, uh, this just lets us get to the Ultra Hammer. And also that puzzle just automatically solves itself. Convenient. Story, yeah, story triggers are, they're convenient. They can, they're very powerful to, you know, and getting the hammer was a story trigger. Um, fun fact, we actually can skip the Ultra Hammer. That block that I just broke right there is literally the only Ultra block that I'm gonna break this entire run. Um, but if we skip it, we lose time whenever we go to do Chapter 2 because um, we'd have to like go, we'd have to do like a longer route in order to be able to, like, like now we'll be able to go and for, for anyone who's familiar with Dry Dry Ruins, we have to like skip the, or we have to fight the, the chomps that are in there, and um, they're hidden behind stone blocks, and since, since I just had a normal hammer, uh, it's faster to just go in there with an upgraded hammer already. Okay, gonna do another glitch up here. This is gonna be the first instance of a lackey teleport. Gonna start to really show off how powerful lackey is, and in ad addition, we, we already saw, like, being able to get ultra boots. Uh, so if I hop on Lackey, hop off, and hop on again, with good timing. Oh, that was early. Early again. There we go. Uh, yeah, so what happens is I caught Lackey on the frame that he is zooming back to Mario, and what that actually does is it, uh, it makes it so that it miscalculates where you should land whenever uh, Mario's riding. Uh, or whenever Mario hops on. And so it just is like, yeah, you should be on the other side of this wall, totally. <laughs> and so that skipped Havoc to solve that puzzle where we break all those blocks. Um, yet another glitch that has like a super free version uh, with Paracarry that we skipped. Um, There's so much going on. There, it, remember how slow it was in the beginning and now how suddenly everything is just like bang, 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 bang. <laughs> it's chaos. Okay, so now it's a lava for on a time. Can you use a power bounce here? Oh, I got three caps. Oh my god, that's rare. Uh, it's fine, but... And... Oh. Is this life shroom this actually, time? This is intentional. This, this is, is intentional. fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how well I sold that, but... This is RNG um, manipulation. Yeah, totally RNG manipulation. Uh, so it's just really convenient here. Um, we, uh, we we lose the life shroom on the first attack that we just got, and then we just don't block and we get put right back oh, into wow. peril. Peril. <laughs> yeah, and then that takes care of phase one. You totally sold it, by the way. Shroom. I was fooled. What's that? I was totally fooled, by the way. You totally sold it. Totally, totally. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, now for phase two, phase two is actually simpler than phase one because we can just use uh, Squirt here uh, and that will stun. That'll stun Lava Piranha. Uh, for a couple turns, and then the Lava Buds here don't actually attack. What they'll do is they'll spit spit out uh, some Petite Piranhas, they're called. But basically, that gives us another turn. And uh, yeah, Lava Piranha is... Basically dead. Yeah, Lava Piranha's dead now. <laughs> I've been staring uh, at cake. this donation for a while now. Would, would now be an okay time oh, yeah, to read it? it. Okay, amazing. It. So we have $25 from Moon. It reads, I looked into the void chicken's eyes. I heard a voice speak back at me. Mm -hmm. It said, please donate for the National Women's Law Center and bring me home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, such an amazing donation. I'd also like to point out that with a $25 single donation, that also puts you in the running for that amazing Paper Mario Whacka plushie, which is so awesome. And to give it's it so is, big, it's so big, and like I just imagine that you just got you know, it looks so whackable, you know. <laughs> um, and I also like to point out that our glitch expo we're sitting at four thousand two hundred and ninety four dollars of the seven thousand needed. We need to meet that by the end of this run. And Jay Cog is going to show us show off some flashy glitches and tricks, and I know you're not going to want to miss it. So let's go. Let's get those donations in from the National Women's Law Center and for that Glitch Expo. Do I have time to read another? Uh, you do, yeah. I'm, I'm doing Corals, yes, again. Okay. So we have $50 from Asuka424. Thank you, Fatals, for being a home of such amazing people. Y'all make me feel like I belong, and that means the world. Additional love to the lovelies that I worked with in the games committee and host fam, as well as all volunteers here. Keep being wonderful, beautiful people. Less than three. Okay, so I did Colonel's Yes there. Um, and now we have to backtrack our way out of the volcano. Um, I, I do want to point out, the reason that I'm saving there is if I fail that in uh, a particular way, if I touch the card with basically with upward momentum, um, oh, I need to start damaging down here again. Um, it will, even though I, even though I would have the loading zone stored, um, I would still um, t wa end up watching the beach cutscene, which like just is so slow. Like, it's so huge that we can skip this. Actually, this one specifically is huge. Uh, before seed doing, we had to watch this one um, because it was it's the you you have to beat chapter five in order to get the last magical seed. And so beating that early is like what lets us do like it, it, it makes this route work the way that it does. Um, so huge. Um, but yeah, you can probably read a couple more. Just wanted to explain that. Absolutely. We have $25 from Happy already. I love you all. And I mean people, our pets and video games. Thank you for that donation. We also have $100 from Spicy Leaks. Thanks for another great week of runs, but we need more. Let's get that glitch exhibition. Less than three. And another, another update. We're just $2,569 from our milestone. So what we're saying with the milestone is that is to become the second highest raising event in Frame Fatale's history. I know I know we can do it. Um, that is $137,175. That's what we're trying to surpass right now. You're all wonderful. This is all for the National Women's Law Center. And I believe in us. I believe in us, Chad. We got this. Okay, right here, uh, fun thing that I doubt most people knew. Did you know that uh, Ultra Boots are able to break stone blocks. <laughs> That's just a thing. Because it, it's really weird the way that it works. You've been running around with a hammer this whole time and you're telling me you could have just yeah. used the boots? Yeah, I can just do that. Easy as that. <laughs> boots are made okay, for I'm stomping. in peril now. Uh, I'm fighting Electro Blooper here, which is going to unlock some more... Um, some more shortcut pipes. Uh, blooper uh, on this turn. Uh, doesn't attack. He does electrify himself, and I can't attack him with Mario, or else I'll die. Uh, but we can we can sacrifice the sushi. It's for a good cause. <laughs> <gasps> oh no, sushi no. She's fine. She see. Look, she, she's gonna get right back up. Just watch. 
Oh, <laughs> she's fine. <okay. laughs> Crisis averted. Relief. But yeah, and also, we're now back in peril, and we're keeping that. Uh, so, okay, so we, we did hit the attack effect C uh, incentive, right? And just double checking oh. that. Oh, I'm at, I mean, absolutely. It's time. Is it time? Is it time it's, it's for this time. most amazing it's attack? Time. We it early enough. Oh. Effect C badge. I don't, okay, I don't usually go this way. Forgot the bandit was there. Um, it is time. So, chat. I want to prepare you for this. Okay, so this badge. So there are attack effects badges in this game that give you. Uh, it makes it so sound effects happen whenever you use whenever you use your hammer in the overworld, and then in battle, both when you jump and hammer. And so the Mario Wiki describes the sound that this uh, that this attack effects badge does as an odd mechanical sound. I will not tell you what I think it sounds like, but I will nope. let you be the judge. <laughs> so there's the badge. I'm gonna go ahead and equip it. And thank you all for donating towards us again, by the way. You're wonderful. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be hearing that for the rest of the run. <sighs> oh no, you, I don't know. Oh wait, can you, can you, uh, can you two hear it? <laughs> I just realized that. I, you know, I'm hearing it in my mind because I looked up the videos. Unfortunately, I personally at this moment can't oh, hear no. it, but I know chat can hear it. Chat, you can hear it. Give, show me some, so, show me some love in chat for this badge. Let me know that you can hear it. <laughs> I'm reading <laughs> chat right now. I can see you. I'm totally an odd mechanical sound. 100%. I do, I, I'm told apparently, uh, so Clover, Oh wait, oh wait, hang on. Very important thing to mention here. So I'm entering this uh, chapter in, an, in a completed state, but you may, so you can see that the sand's down. But you can also see that all these keys are still here, right? Uh, so there's an important thing to know about, I, I mentioned story progress uh, in this game, but some things that like, that works if everything has to be done in a certain order, but some things like uh, these chomps can be done in any order. And so the game will actually use individual flags to control uh, whether or not uh, they've been done. So that's why the chomps are still here, even though the game still considers us to be in a chapter five state. I gotta be careful about heart drops through here still. Um, so I can just like skip some locks um, and just like skip a whole bunch of this chapter just because I have, um, just because I'm in a completed state. Um, I can skip having to do that pokey fight right there. Um, I'm right, gonna go ahead and blow this wall up a little bit faster to go this way. Also, I want to. I also want to point out. Notice how the path down to Tutankupa Koopa is already open right there. However, because I'm in a Chapter Five state, if I was to try and go down there, there would be no boss there. Uh, there would just be an empty room. So we can't actually go down there yet, which is why I'm fighting the Chomps, and um, it's why I'm fighting the Chomps and getting the the stones here. Um, and also, I just did a te uh, technique there, Untimed Power Quake. Uh, it does a little bit less damage than if you charge it. But whenever you have Peril, that's still six damage really quickly. It's such a good move. Just want to confirm um, that chat is doing a lot of oo-woos to confirm that they hear the badge. <laughs> so it's been confirmed. Okay. Everyone can hear the badge. Thank you, chat. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Glad we're on the, same on the same page. Okay, so the last stone is right here. Um, also, after this, going to upgrade a bombette. Making really efficient use of our FP as well, so we don't have to heal it for a while. Um, and we do actually. So, like, how do we get into it? How do we get into a chapter two state? There's no like just hard coded door like with the the previous chapters. And so, what we're actually going to do here is we are going to downgrade our hammer. So we are going to go uh, over to the room uh, up into the left here, and that is a trigger. I mentioned earlier we don't need it. Also, I can just kind of like use ultra bo use ultra boots right here to kind of clip up onto the ledge there. And then since we do have the ultra hammer right now, we can just uh, just break this block, skip that entire puzzle, and now we're in a chapter two state. And so now what we can do is we can go back down here. We can place these stones in the proper order, which is the same every time. 
And then that will open this up. And yeah, we're fighting. We're very overpowered. Hopefully, if I get lucky, if I get a five cap, um, this can actually be a one turn fight. Um, and it's more likely than not. I think it's a 67% chance of getting a five cap. Okay, I have to jump in because two things. One, it, we're basically it, yeah. at 60, we're at 66, but I'm saying you said 67. We're basically at 67% of that glitch exposition with 4,679 <laughs> of 7,000. But we also are at 1000 oh, sorry, $135,000 raised for the National Women's Law Center. And we're $9 away from $136,000 raised for the National Women's Law Center. <sighs> that is incredible. We have this $200 anonymous donation that says, thank you, Frame Fatales. Thank you. That's amazing. We also- My, my cat is made it. Oh, oh, I don't know if she wants to go up under the Rolo. camera. I'm, She's I'm, right I'm here. to Rolo. <laughs> <laughs> Rolo. <laughs> Speaking of your cat, we have a $10 donation from Moon that reads, I retract my previous comment. I looked into the boy chicken's eyes and it meowed at me. <laughs> oh my God, look at that little kitty. I see kitty face. <laughs> uh, get those donations in for the That's National wrong. Women's Law Center and get those donations in for cute kitty face that we can see right now. <laughs> Oh, no, she's playing with the cute <laughs> Okay, yet another card. Yet another card LZS. This one's a little awkward because of the door frame here. Uh, so I actually have to do like a little short hop to start. Okay, that was good though. Okay, that's chapter two. And that's $136,000 for the National Yo. Women's Law Center. Let's go, everybody. We have a $1,000 donation from Butson. No comment, but thank you so much for your donation. Again, this Glitch Expo is at 4,704 of the 7,000 needed. So make sure when you're donating to add that incentive, we want to see Jaycog show off these glitches. It's going to be good. You definitely want to see it. I'm very excited. Very very fun stuff. Lots of stuff that like would never be useful in a speed run, so you would never see it then. Um, but still, but still, very entertaining. Okay, so next thing. Uh, so checklist. So far, we've beaten chapters one, two, three, and five. And so the next one that we're gonna do, we're going to go beat chapter four. And so this one's like uh, we we're still in a chapter two state. Um, but luckily for us, so normally you're supposed to do like the whole like out of sight with bow and then a shaggy comes and opens up the path. But a really weird thing, it's a really weird interaction. I don't know why they programmed it the, the way that they did. If you remember, I actually picked up the train a while ago. Um, and so for some reason, you'll notice whenever you enter this loading zone and you have the train, it just sets your story progress to four. And so now we're playing the chapter four music. And so I can just waltz right on in. And since I have the train, um, we do need to take it. I am just going to toss it in here. Can I waltz in and down. say that we're at $137,000? Oh I know, I know. I, I, have to, I have to read this right here. We have a $1,100 donation from Fangamer. It says, hey everybody, Fangamer here. We've been watching at home all week and we can't believe it's almost over. This lovely donation is made possible by everyone who has ordered the official Frost Fatales 2024 virtual attendee badge, which includes a donation split that directly benefits the National Women's Law Center. We're putting $500 towards Ghost Luigi. <laughs> we'll, yeah, also yo, let's go. <laughs> we'll also continue taking orders for the virtual attendee badge through the end of the event. 
event. If you want one of your very own, place your order soon. You can find the badge and more items that benefit NWLC at fangamer.com slash GDQ. So I, I've got a highlight now. The bid war between Ghost Luigi or Brig Luigi. Ghost Luigi is now in the lead at $595 to Brig Luigi $570. So we flipped it. <laughs> but it could still go the other way. It's up to you, chat. It is Don't up to that. you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ghost uh. Luigi. Put it, put it further in the lead. <laughs> okay, a lot just happened, actually. Uh, right there. Uh, so I've just been kind of like going, doing a bunch of stuff here. I actually just stole Power Plus um, for, right out from under Anti Guy's nose. Uh, normally you're supposed to fight him and he's supposed to be a difficult fight. Um, but I just kind of did. It's actually a glitch that I discovered um, uh, close to a year ago. Uh, you can kind of clip out with Lackey there. Uh, just like hop on in the corner and it puts you out of bounds. Lackey, cl Lackey can do that in a lot of corners in this game. Um, and then you can just kind of like maneuver your way out of bounds and then just fall underneath where the chest is. And then you pop up and you, uh, you, you have it. You have power plus and then you can just... Yes. Um, yeah, we can, we can use that later. We don't have the BP to use it right now. Um, but we will. Also, Goombario signing. This is the last time we'll see him this run. Nice, sweet prince. He <laughs> he is slightly faster than Bo on the lantern, on like the lantern here that the lantern ghost has. Um, lantern ghost, another pretty um, simple fight here. Can I do that? Oh, uh, we need a four and a three cap here. Luckily, we're always guaranteed at least four bounces on Lantern Ghost. Uh, and he's just going to blow it out for the first turn. So we can attack again for free. And now Lantern Ghost is dead. <laughs> oh, we can get Watt. He's great. Watt is a great partner. Also, I, another thing that I should point out is note that, like, experience, experience is, like, routed the uh, like a very specific way so i very intentionally don't want to level up here um and so we routed it so that like um we get just the right amount of experience so that i can stay in peril like all through chapter four and so then like at the end you know we, we can just go to general guy general guy the next fight already in peril already dealing lots of damage so it is very important if I, like, get into any encounters that I don't mean to, not to, like, don't want to kill them. Uh, definitely just want to run away. Okay, so we got Watt. Watt's great because her basic attack that uses no FP uh, actually just ignores all defense. Um, I just upgraded her, so now it does four. Uh, not actually going to use her here. Actually, come to think of it, I don't actually know if this route uses her that much at all. She does get used for sure, but... Okay, and she is required. She is required for this section. Um, we need her to light the room after this. Uh, there's this really weird quirk with like story triggers in this game. So for all cards, we need the cards to spawn. And even though there actually is a way to skip Watt here and clip our way um, all the way to General Guy, and it would be faster. Uh, it is, we're no, we still don't do it, because if you skip the final story trigger before a boss, then after the boss, for some reason the card just doesn't spawn, and so specifically we need to hit this story trigger right here, which is blowing up this wall. Which is nice to have her. It's, it's nice having Watt, I'm not complaining. But okay, General Guy. Uh, so the way General Guy works is there are a few different shy guys. You know, you know, you know he's got like his minions that he's going to send out to fight us with first. Uh, but we are, we're doing a lot of damage right here. Uh, this one has 15. And do 14 and then like a little, little, little love tap for the last one with Watt. She is really good at that. If you just need to do one damage, Watt is really fast for that. All right. Now for this next one, these uh, these stilt guys, I think they have what? I want to say 7, yeah, I think they have 7 HP each. 
And uh, Power Quake actually works on them. So I can just do this. Take them both out at once. I think this is my favorite fight so far. There's something about the stilt and the... What, is that a baby buggy? <laughs> I, I think so, yeah. I mean, this is a toy box, so... <laughs> that, that one makes sense. Okay, yeah. Oh, I think it's great. the Shy Guys. I just love Shy Guys. I shy do Guys too. are great. All right, this one, we can't take these ones out in one turn. They have 10 HP. The Shy Stacks, they're called. But Power Shock has... Or, what has the ability to... Uh, uh, she has Power Shock, which lets you stun enemies. So we can just do that and take these ones out on this turn. Okay, now, unfortunately, General Guy, uh, he will start attacking us immediately, and we can't kill him in one turn. So we're actually going to use this Repel Gel that we picked up um, back in uh, Chapter 3. And that'll give us two turns of invulnerability. And so we can use that to start doing some power bounces. Okay, good. I got a six cap here. I need a six and a four. Um... Speaking of, he gave me double lightning. Speaking Slow. of power bounces, we have met that milestone. We are officially the second highest raising event in Frame Fatale's history. We have surpassed $137,175. We are at $137,181. let us go, everyone. That's amazing. That's so much. <laughs> <laughs> For such a good cause, too. Oh, it's just fantastic. Yay! Okay. Card spawning. Now, this is the last card that we're going to be able to do card LZS on. All the rest, we are actually going to have to touch um, for one reason or another. Um, also, this one is like, I consider this one the easiest to do, and the safe lock is the farthest away, so it'll be fine. I know that's like famous last words, but. <laughs> ah. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. First try, <laughs> easy. First try, every time. Literally free. Easy. Every time. Okay, gonna make our way out now. Gonna pick up the shooting star. It does six damage to every enemy on the screen. And pretty, pretty quickly, too, so very good to pick up. I'm um, just gonna make our way out here. It's a little bit faster to go to the left here, just because the, uh, even though you have to like menu down, just because like the train track in the next room is shorter, going this direction than the other. Fun little time save that we didn't realize for a really long time. I love this um, place. But, so cool. <laughs> so good. Um, so you know, now we're gonna go back to chapter six, uh, Flower Flower Fields, which is. I, I think it's safe to say most runners' least favorite chapter overall. Um, the music is kind of dreary. One of the few... It, it's fitting for the atmosphere they were going for, but it is kind of dreary. Also, there's not that much we can do to speed it up. There's, there's some things here and there. Um, also, the Shy Guys are still here. Because, because I did the card LZS, we're sort of still in a Chapter 4 state. Like, the card is gone. Um... But, like, it's, it's, it's weird. It's, like, sort of is, sort of isn't. Uh, but this is also why we picked up that fifth... Like, we duplicated that fifth uh, seed earlier. Because progressing to before Chapter 6 opened um, actually made the door disappear again. And so we couldn't get back in. Um, but because I have an extra one now, we can enter again. Oh, you've been keeping secrets yeah. in those seeds. We have, yeah. <laughs> CD secrets. <laughs> CD secrets. <laughs> There's another category, actually reverse all cards, which is this category. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, there's another category called Reverse All Cards. That's exactly what it sounds like. It actually uh, touches all the cards in the order 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then beats the game. Crazy category. Uh, what you have to do. Um, but it's also like... Um, it, it, it duplicates even more seeds. Like, I think you do three instead of the two. That, or, or, it, or what would it be total? It, more than this category. I forgot the total. But that... That card category is just nutty. Okay, so... Gonna, <laughs> You're <laughs> gonna so do the whole fight here. So nutty. 
Okay, actually going to just uh, swap partners with Mario and not kill the moles here. So we did get a level up on General Guy, and so we want to damage back down to get in peril. Uh, luckily, these moles here, they do three damage each, so we can just not do anything against them. And then I can go down and do an untimed power quake. The moles have 12 HP, so it uh, works out perfectly. They never stood a chance. No, they really didn't. Poor moles. The best they could do is hide, and they're really good at hiding. I, I don't know how I missed that one. Literally went right over his hitbox. Let their hitboxes know. are elusive. Let me know would be another good time for announcements. There's so many exciting things going on right uh, now. Oh, yeah, we could probably do some now. Okay, we have $150 from Eater of Fromage. Been tuning into the marathon all week, and it's been a blast. The National Women's Law Center is such a good cause to support. Go Cog, and let's get some more glitches and more Frost Fatales. And so, yes, I do want to update you on that Glitch Expo. We are sitting at $4,864 of the $7,000 needed for that Glitch Expo, which means Jaycog, after this run, will be showing us some glitches and tricks. We do not want to miss that out. Um, uh, oh, everything's so, uh, there's go. so many exciting things happening. Like, will will we get to 140k first, or will we meet that Glitch Expo first? And then let's not Ooh. stop there either. Like, I'm sure you all can see that we have we that the thing that's going across the bottom of your screen right now which says set a new fatals donation record like if we can make more than 153,417 dollars we will be the well it'll be the record We're, it'll be a, it'll be a <laughs> wr for fatals so let's go chat let's go world records <laughs> world's records is that no world record at a GDQ one. I know. Okay, so really great? funky interaction here. I honestly don't completely understand completely understand why this works. You could just kind of get that yellow flower to push you out of bounds with Lackey. I so that lets us skip get, uh, making an extra trip to get the yellow berry. So just nice and easy yellow berry skip. But you could probably re read some donations or more announcements, whatever oh, you have. I, 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 I'm here all night. <laughs> <laughs> we have <laughs> this chapter is a little slow, so perfect, perfect. Sounds great for me. We have fifty dollars from Rash and Dragoness. Thanks for a great event. Let's see that glitch exposition exhibition. Why do I have trouble with this? I'm really sorry, chat. Keep saying exhibition in your donations so I can practice saying it. <laughs> My goodness, we have $20 from Elflay. Thanks everyone for an amazing week. Thank you for being here. We have a $50 anonymous donation. Thank y'all for all that you do. Less than three, ah, uh, less than three to you all. We are swiftly approaching 138K. We are gonna be there before you know it. We are now at 5,014 of the 7,000 needed for that glitch expo. And so we're currently still ghosting Luigi. It could change at any time. We have that bid war to either ghost Luigi or bring Luigi. So that is uh, 595 to 570. So one donation could easily flip it. So much excitement. It is, yeah. Okay, this fight right here, I can't quite take out all the enemies in one go, um, but I can take out three of them. So there's a little bit of RNG here. I have to change what I do, depending on what this Lakitu does. I hope that he attacks me. That's a bit faster. He doesn't want to, though. He's going to spawn an enemy, um, which means I have to use my other shooting star here, uh, which I'm going to have to back up a little bit later. Also, we get a little bit of extra experience here, but that's not that big of a deal. Um, it'll change our level up slightly. Um, when they happen, but not in a way that we can't account for. Um, yeah, and th this chapter is just unfortunately, it's just a whole bunch of like backtracking and stuff. So like we have to go like through this maze. We have to go talk to um, Rosie, who kind of sucks. Um, just like here, uh, here, here's a stone that'll help everyone else. Uh, but it's it's really pretty. I don't want to get rid of it. So you have to go talk to her. Go find something prettier to give it to her. I'm just glad you haven't asked us to do flower identification yet because I'm pretty sure I've lost already. <laughs> oh my god, I... You do not want me... Like, I know their names here. It's funny, you definitely don't want me doing that in real life. So, I actually... Uh, <laughs> tangent here. Uh, whenever I was in high school, I had like a... 
guess it's not flowers, but it's leaves. And a leaf collecting project? Um, Ooh. I just collected a bunch in my backyard. Um, <laughs> one of the I ones like that it. I collected was, it turned out it was poison ivy. Oh, no. Oh. I was about to say, don't I, work hard, work smart, but then suddenly well, it took I, a I turn. Didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Uh, so you really don't want me on identification duty? <laughs> that was oh not a goodness. fun week. <laughs> I can't say I've ever had the pleasure. You, you I don't know if I call it a blessings. pleasure, but... It definitely isn't. Okay, we could read some more donations. Just going back to deliver. Oh, um, oh definitely. We're, we're really... We're approaching... We're less than 2K away, I'm going to say, from that Glitch Expo. We're at 5,164 now. We're at 7,000. So thank you so much. Keep those donations coming in and make sure to add that incentive when you're donating. We have $5 from... <laughs> is it uh, Canoe? Hey, Jay Cog. Looks like you forgot to turn on Rolocam this evening. <laughs> <laughs> we also have... Uh, $50 from Dare You. Let's get those glitches. Yes, please. Let's do it. Oh, and oh my goodness. We have whew, $25 from Heather. Another wonderful week as always. Thank you to the runners, hosts, and all the behind the scenes folks who make amazing events like this possible, all while doing some good in the world. Massive love to you all, less than three. Thank you so much for your donation. Oh, oh, you know what I just realized? What's that? I just realized that I'm in the East Coast and it is now 12.01 a.m., which means it is now Ooh. Mario Day. So um, what, what, do you, what do you all think? Not it's Luigi Day? Well, not <laughs> Luigi Day, but it, it's, it's March 10th. So maybe we should start a $10 train towards that Glitch Expo for Ooh. March 10th, Mario Day. Who's with me? I'm, yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> <laughs> I would die for my main man, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> well then, let's a go. Yeah, and you could, you could. Oh well, one. I guess I am gonna do something a little bit interesting up here. It is. If I do it quickly, it is slightly faster up here to clip out of bounds. Uh, with Lackey, instead of using sushi, ju literally just to save the time with the partner swaps. Uh, so let's see if I can get that quickly. Uh, kind of quickly. And then I have to cl clip back in bounds, actually. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> or you're just casually walking on water, you know. As he does. It's the power of Mario Day. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we could probably get a couple more donations. Lovely. We have $25 from Snapdragon. Let's go, Fatals. We also have $10 from Vicarious Vice. Leave no incentive unmet. So that one is still chugging forward. We're at 5,219 of the 7,000 needed. So we have about an uh, maybe an hour left in this run. So we definitely want to smash our goals here. Let's see that glitch expo. Let's raise as much as we can for the National Women's Law Center. Okay, I got a fight coming up over here. Uh, so this is the machine fight. This is the machine that, you know, the puff puff machine that's been putting all the clouds in the sky. So we want to get rid of that. Uh, we're going to use uh, the dizzy dial we picked up a really long time ago. It has a 100% oh, yeah. chance of working on the Lakitu's, but only 75. Okay, good. It did work on the Magic Koopa. Um, even if it didn't work on him, all that he would do would be to electrify the stun, the dizzy... Uh, Lakitu's, so not actually that big of a deal, just slower. But yeah, this will let us uh, take it. And I'm actually, because I had to get rid of that um, shooting star earlier, that um, using a, that th hidden thunder rage and then Lackey's um, spiny surge, which is like such, honestly, such a bad move. It costs four FP, but only does, uh, what was it, two damage? And even but, if you fully upgrade him, it's only four. Like, this is the last partner you get in the game, casually. Like, really? That's the best he's got? But... 
Anyway. I, know, I know it's not the best we got, but we just hit a hundred and thirty-eight thousand dollars. So woohoo! Let's go. <laughs> it just keeps going up. Ah. Uh. And I, I have I have to read this one because it's poking fun at me, and I always love poking fun at myself. We have fifty dollars from Fine and Andy. Let's get to that exposi- uh, exhibition. <laughs> it's not my fault this time. The donation message said it that way. I swear. <laughs> oh, Thank sure you for that donation. Ah. <laughs> This little expedition that we're on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've been saying it wrong all week. My husband's been making fun of me. And I'm like, I can't help it. I'm reading some expo- exposition. Oh. We're going on an exposition. Expedi- I, I can't even say the joke. <laughs> See, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not. Uh, but some exposition, reading some exposition to go on an expedition to show the exposition. Mm. Did I? Ex. Except no, I, <laughs> I told you it's really hard. Oh, I tried. Good job, though. It is hard. <laughs> Thank you. I, I tried. Thanks for you know t- t- you know you're in solidarity with me here now. I feel it. I feel the love. Thank you. I have. Yeah. We'll need to open an inquisition on which you've succeeded to use. more times than I have. <laughs> uh, can I do one more, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like we're just waiting for the vine. Okay. Uh, there's just so much waiting in this chapter. Okay, but so yeah, I'm, go I'm going to take this as uh, as five tickets to that $10 Mario Day train. Um, it reads, $50 from Robert. Sorry, but you asked for it. <laughs> glitch exhibition, glitch exhibition, glitch <laughs> exhibition, glitch exhibition, glitch exhibition, glitch exhibition, glitch exhibition. <laughs> Glitch exhibition, glitch exhibition, glitch exhibition. You did great reading that out loud. Less than three. <laughs> Speaking of the glitch exhibition, we we You're doing so good. <laughs> we need about one thousand eight hundred dollars more, and we will have it. Jaycog will show us shiny glitches and tricks. Let's get there, chat. If we make it there, we will also be at hundred and forty k raised for the National Women's Law Center. Let's go. It's amazing. Okay, so- <laughs> 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 okay, so I just picked up Super Jump Charge, and if you thought that we were doing a lot of damage before, y- just wait until you see this fight. Okay, so Super Jump Charge makes it so that your next jump gets three additional power, and that stacks. And so what we're going to do here, and we really don't want to uh, attack Huff uh, until we're ready, so I'm going to use uh, Super Jump Charge here, and then I'm going to Turbo Charge which increases Mario's power by one. I'm uh, just going to let him hit me. All right, and then I'm going to charge again. I'm going to swap to Sushi here. Okay, now here, I need some apparel here. I, I can actually just basically pick how much damage I want to take. So I'm going to make it be four. I do have to be slightly careful that it, it is possible to additionally block this attack. So definitely don't want to do that. Okay, but now we're in peril, and so now I can bounce. We, we did a little bit of damage. I got four capped, so I have to. Well, I have to uh, yeah, you gotta gotta do a little bit more with sushi, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's how you just completely annihilate Huff. <laughs> oh, and I'm telling you, saying exhibition. Wait. I'm not even sure of myself anymore. <laughs> Exhibition, my cheeks hurt from smiling so hard. Oh, no. So feel free, feel free to donate more exhibitions at me. I'm honestly not even sure if I'm saying it right anymore. So please help me <laughs> with your donations. Put them towards that glitch expo <laughs> because we want to see it. I also want to shout out this uh, $10 ticket for that $10 Mario Day train from Reverend Gumby. Happy Mar 10 Day to those who celebrate. Also, also Mario, because, you know, Mario. Thank you so much for that donation. <laughs> okay, actually, you can read a bunch of donations here because uh, this is the longest peach cut, uh, like peach intermission, peach cut scene. 
and it just keeps going. And I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty good casually, but in the speed run, we just, it's, it's just a lot of walking. So yeah, go ahead, go ahead and read a bunch. Okay, fantastic. And I, I just want to say this person is doing me a, a huge solid right now. Ten dollars from illegally Sam. Can I make an official petition to rename it to J Cog's Glitch Showcase? <laughs> <laughs> That would help me out a lot, let me tell you. <laughs> we also have... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just saw one come in. I'll read that one after this one. Oh, I'm going to be crying. I don't know if I'm going to be able to read it. Okay, $5 from Moo Kitten. <clears throat> Hi, Jay Cog. You're awesome. It's been great getting to know you and your community in the past few months. Thanks for all the cozy vibes. Thank you, Moo Kitten, for your donation. And... <laughs> <laughs> your your host is, is cracked now. Five dollars from Biotechnics. <laughs> I don't think I could Gwitch Eggs Ignition. <laughs> Someone reads Gwitch Eggs Ignition. I think that's how I've been saying it the whole time. <laughs> oh, thank you for that five dollar donation. Okay, we also have $25 from CC Glitch showy offy time. Now, now that's speaking my language. Um, update again on the glitchy showy offy time. It is sitting at $5,294 $5, of 7000 And uh, not to put pressure on anyone, but, uh, you know, we have less than an hour left in this run. And if you want to see those glitches, you got to add that incentive when you're donating. Thank you all so much. You're you all doing a wonderful thing here, raising money for the National Women's Law Center. I appreciate all of you and for making me laugh this hard. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> now my cheeks are starting to hurt. <laughs> oh, honestly. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I can't. No words are coming out right anymore. Um, we just surpassed 139 thousand dollars and now we are less than six hundred dollars away from that glitchy showy offy time Ooh. so incredible we got a huge 1200 anonymous donation with to with no comment thank you so much for your generosity and also thank you very much for not putting the word in that i can't read very well right now but for putting it towards that incentive you're amazing <laughs> uh, do you have time for more or do you have uh, some wonderful things you have we do have, oh, no, oh, we, we have time for more <laughs> great I have another um, $10 ticket from Riri Peacecraft 33 $10 for happy Mario day less than three thank you so much for that donation we also have $50 from Cricket I love Paper Mario, smiley face. I love Fatals, smiley face. Let's go glitch exhibition. What a perfect way to end the week. Thank you for an amazing run and everything that this lovely community is. Continue to be a light. And there's a lovely red heart at the end of that one. And I'm making heart hands. Thank you. Thank you for that donation. We also have a $250 donation from Maltz. No comment, but thank you so much. Oh, and I, I just, I also have to say, I'm just so excited f from all the donations that are coming in, but we are less than $700 away from 140,000 and less than 600 away from that Glitch Expo. Oh or God, six as this $5 <laughs> donation from uh, Reddick says, can't wait to see that glitch eggs in my kitchen. <laughs> Thank you for that donation. Okay, remember how I told you all not to get too attached to the Yoshi kids? Oh no. Um, oh so no, what time is it? Oh, look away. Do we have to look they're, away? They're gone. We never oh. saved them. They're gone. <sighs> the oh no! Don't care. They're <laughs> well, someone think of the children. <laughs> they, 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 they're just gone forever. <laughs> oh. They went to school, right? They're gonna be fine, right? Well, we we don't see anything bad happen to them, to be fair. Okay, I should probably talk about why I'm here, though. Uh, so the, the the next we've already beaten chapter uh, five. So why am I coming here? Uh, we need to beat chapter seven. The chapter seven card is the last one that we haven't touched, and so the fastest way to do that is actually to do a glitch called Peach Warp. And so the way that this works, after you beat chapter five, 
Um, the devs put in like some lava that's supposed to block you from going back down to the area where uh, you fought Lava Piranha. Uh, but they didn't do a good enough job of blocking it off because we can still, we can use Lackey to clip down there. And the way that they programmed that area is that anytime you enter it, it doesn't even bother looking uh, at what your story progress is because they figured like, oh, you'll only be able uh, to get there in one particular, at one particular time. Um, so it just basically plays the, the, you just, like the volcano escape sequence. Um, I'd say again, but we didn't actually watch it the first time. Um, but it, it just plays it, and then at the end, it's just like, you are now... We're going to watch the Peach Cut scene for the chapter that you are currently in. And we're currently in a post-chapter 6 state. Do a little lackey clip here. Wee! I love fall the lackey down clips. into this loading zone. Lackey, no! <laughs> gonna do like a teleport to get past an invisible wall. We'll get it eventually. There we go. And so now we come here, and yeah, so this this escape sequence just starts. Um, it just starts going. The lava starts rising. It just it doesn't care. The game still thinks we're in. It, it, it thinks we're in chapter seven because we beat chapter six. And so this is actually going to send us to a peach cutscene, and it's... It, you might not know... It might not make sense at first why this is helpful. This is going to make it so that we had... The game, as far as the game is concerned, we've beaten Chapter 7, um, which is the last chapter before Chapter 8. Now, we haven't satisfied the rules of the category, so we still have to beat it. But after you beat Chapter 7, you get put outside Crystal Palace, which is like the dungeon of the chapter and like past all the beginning um, parts of it. Um, and so we're just going to get spit out. And, and it just so happens, uh, luckily for us, it just so happens that um, entering, li like some of the other places we entered, entering Crystal Palace for the first time is a trigger to put you back in Chapter 7. And so then we can just enter again and just beat it uh, like normal. And so, just just like that, I just skipped like a ton of chapter 7. And uh, yeah, during this, this speech cutscene is a little bit shorter, but we could do a, a few donations. I, I mean, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I almost did a full spit take. Okay, so uh, <laughs> we have $5.11 from the Vigilante. We That reads, glitch eggs to bacon. Thank you very much <laughs> for that donation. We also have um, five dollars from uh, Lalife going on an expedition to post a petition to rename the exhibition to improve the host position, or in other words, QP 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 QP. Thank you for that donation. Uh, update on that: We are so close. We are less than five hundred dollars away from that glitch expo and we're also less than $500 away from 140k raised for the National Women's Law Center. You all are amazing. Okay, going to do a glitch over here. This is mirror clip. Uh, so this is another lucky teleport. I've done a few throughout the run. This one's a little bit different though because we need to clip we need to get laggy with to have even more speed. Um, than what he would usually have. So I'm kind of pushing him. He remembers where he was. Now, if I just kind of slowly move here. Okay. So yeah, that got us even more speed. And so we just clipped to the other side. Uh, you may not have noticed because like, you know, you see two Marios here, but I need it. I I'm on the other side now. I'm controlling the Mario in the background, not the one in the foreground. The one in the the one in the foreground is uh, that's that's the doppelganger. Uh, unfortunately, we can't we can't clip back the other way, so I did have to get the blue key. We do have to, um, you know, go back through here. Um, but luckily, what the the really important thing that this skips is normally in that room that I was just in, uh, a duplicos fight triggers, and so you'd have to do that. But it doesn't trigger from the other side, so we only went through it from the side that doesn't trigger it. But uh, the, the whole gimmick uh, with this dungeon is that things that you do, it, it's like symmetry, like things that you do on one side affect things on the other side. So if you notice, whenever I went to get the uh, blue key um, here, uh, that was not open. That was a red X on the floor. 
Um, but because I did that, because I broke the panel on the other side, it's broke a, it broke a hole in the wall. All right, and now here, this puzzle, this puzzle is luckily the same every time. Uh, the, the real bombette is the uh, second from the right. So just now, like, you know, expose the fakes here. Get a little bit more <laughs> attack effect C uh, action going in. <laughs> Doing some exposition over here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I do have an exposition donation right here. <laughs> it's five dollars from uh Derek Sharna. Put this towards the expedition to the exhibition exposition before the expiration. <laughs> Thanks to everyone for the amazing marathon. Less than three. We are, oh, oh geez, it's $301 away to that glitch expo and $354 to 140K. Let's go, everyone. This is incredible. So close. Oh, we're okay, so close. Okay, I have to do some, some fights here to get rid. So every, every fight. Uh, that you do here. And you can actually see them even in the battle. They bother to put them in their statues that correspond. And so whenever you defeat the enemy, the statue on the other side disappears. We can almost skip this, but the last statue we actually can't get past, unfortunately. Which honestly is kind of nice because it is really difficult to skip the first two, but it is it, it is doable. Um, but gonna do... Gonna kill these ones. And then for experience, uh, because... So, so your star spirits, the star spirits that you have are based on the most recent Peach cutscene that you've seen. And so even though uh, we're in a back, like in a state where we haven't beaten chapter seven, we do have all the star spirits, which means that we can use up and away on this next fight, which has for each enemy, each enemy here has a 95% chance of just going away. And importantly, um, that chance, like, like if it happens, we don't get any experience. And so this is just really good for experience manip and making sure that we continue to level up when we want to level up. And good, okay, I worked on all of them. You wouldn't think that with 95% chance that it'd be likely that it'd fail, but if you keep doing 95% over and over and over, your odds actually end up being pretty high that at least one of them fails. I, th we, I, we're getting so close to this glitch exhibition. <laughs> Oh, it's getting harder the harder the more we talk about different things. We are two hundred and one dollars away, and and thank you. We also have a ten dollar donation from Seattle Music Nerd, which reads "Glitch Emission." <laughs> <laughs> we are getting emissions from my mouth, and they may or may not be saying "exhibition." <laughs> <laughs> we are so close to that uh, incentive, and we're so close to one hundred and forty k. So close. So close. Uh, so this puzzle is too hard. I don't know how to solve it. I mean, like, I don't know which one the real Cooper is, so I'm just gonna skip it. We don't. We, we don't need. We don't need to do that one. <laughs> uh, so I, I lined up in a, a specific position there, um, and if you just like stand in a certain place, spin, hold right, and then just mash spin, you just skip it. It got patched in English. That's actually one of the few uh, Japanese exclusive glitches um, that we do in this category. Um, but you know, it saves a nice little chunk of time. Very nice. Oh, and now, I'm f I, I, I really tried to route this out. So if I was doing a PB attempt, uh, like with my riskier route, um, I would actually skip pushing that statue. I, I would skip coming to this top section entirely. But I, I cannot find a, a fast way to do fast endgame fights without PFD Down. PFD Down is um, actually such a good badge. Not only does it inc increase your power by one, it decreases your defense by one, which actually whenever you're trying to manipulate um, peril in certain fights is really good. Um, and I just, I couldn't find a way around it. Because unfortunately, there's a really cool glitch that lets you kind of just like jump up on top of the statue right here, which if I hadn't pushed it would still be over the hole. And you can just like clip around the whole thing. But just know that you can do that. But it's not it's not that bad. It's not be able to. Get in the palace key. I love the I like how it's wearing a sheet. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
It's okay. Oh, more of them in this game. It's okay if I jump in a little bit more. the one duplus. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, I've I've got to do it. We've got twenty five dollars from Squiddy. It reads, "Let's a go." Which yes, let's a go. We're on our way to that glitch expo. We have fifty dollars from Doodleby. I love all the partners in Paper Mario, but had to donate for my favorite, Lady Bow. Chat, who's your favorite partner? Also, let's get that glitch eggs. Cupy, 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 And with that, we're under two hundred dollars away from that glitch expo. I am so excited to see Jaycog show her stuff. Yeah, actually, if you want to see a quick preview of the types of things that I'm going to be doing, I'll, I'll, I'm going to take. Let me take a second right here. Um, so this only works on JP. We can still push the statues here. And so if I push the statue closer to the stairs and then turn the statue around and push it from the stairs, uh, Mario's <laughs> people need him. <laughs> Mario, no! <laughs> He's trying to get away. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to see stuff like that, more to come in the glitch exhibition. If we hit it, you gotta get the you gotta get those donations in. Get I can't those wait for this glitch in. experimentation. Like, it's gonna be so good. Yes. <laughs> There are so many, so many good variations of glitch exhibition coming in. We're so close. We have ten dollars from Anonymous, which reads Grinch Electrician, <laughs> or twenty-five dollars from Anonymous. Here's hoping we get to see that glitch esthetician. <laughs> <laughs> so we're only one hundred and forty-five dollars away. Let's get that glitch expo. Oh. Okay, for this fight, right? Uh, I, I just I can explain this fight real quick. Uh, so this fight right here, we're doing more charging, um, attacking the crystal bits with watts so that we can properly uh, minute peril. Um, but yeah, otherwise this fight is actually like really similar to Huff, just with all the charging. Get one more charge in here, uh, and then Crystal King will not attack this turn. And I'm going to shoot for a 5-cap. A 5-cap will kill. There we go. Okay. A 4-cap I still could have killed with what? Okay, but nice. And that is Chapter 7. Okay, we're going to level up early here. So this is actually the last level up of the run. Going to do some more BP. Uh, but yeah, this will be... Uh, we'll have s satisfied the card requirements of all cards. And now all that's left to do is uh, beat the game. And so, yeah, if you want to do some more donations, we're actually about to watch the same Peach cutscene uh, that we just watched after the Peach Warp. Um, so luckily it's a short one, but it is the same thing again. Oh, thank you. Sorry for the audible gasp earlier. I just I no, read another good. one and I was just like, oh my goodness, yes. We have $10 <laughs> from Illegally Sam. Let's get ready for this glitch exorcism. Exorcism. Get those glitches <laughs> out of there. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. $120 away from that. Holy moly. Oh and only $148 from 140 k for National Women's Law Center. So, so close. We have $25 from Hannah Hans. So proud of this community for raising money for such a good cause. As a first time volunteer for the event, shout out to the Dream Team. It's been an honor to work with you all less than three. Thank you for your donation. Oh, we're so close. 99%. We need 31 more dollars for that Glitch Expo. Let's go. Very exciting. $25 from Tio Parader. Thank you so much for the $25 donation. We also have, oh, we have more glitches. $150 from Nux Tenma. I like glitches, smiley face. We do too. <laughs> glitches are pretty cool. <laughs> we're just about there. Oh, we're so close to 140K. We're only... I'm doing math, $54 away. Woohoo! Oh. Wahoo! Which will happen first? <laughs> I know, it's wait. a race, it's a race. It's like the <laughs> Could we do them at the same time? Let's can go. We? Oh, yeah. It's possible. You could get a one donation that did it all, yeah. You can be that one dono. <laughs> it could be you. <laughs> 
possibly you. Uh, yeah, so just making my way down the mountain here. Um, not really too much to say here. I am going to pick up a, uh, a repel gel along the way uh, that we will save for Bowser. But otherwise, honestly, not too much of note happening. We're just going to make our way to Chapter 8, which the way, since we beat Chapter 7, uh, the way is open. So yeah, just a whole Mario lot of traveling right now. Gel? Like, when Mario goes to use the gel, what do you think he does with it? Like, does it... Mm. Does he eat it? Well, he rubs it. You, actually, or in the animation, hair. he actually rubs it all, on his body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like a lotion. Uh. Oh, okay. I see another $10 uh, donation ticket. A ticket for our, our March our Mario Day. It reads... From Megan Rupees, happy Mario Day. Happy to celebrate with the speed run of all of my all-time favorite Mario game. I must know, favorite enemy design? Mine is the Zaps. And with that, we have reached $140,000 raise for the National Women's go. Law Center. Amazing. So, so incredible, everyone. Way to go. Let's keep pushing it further. Only sixteen dollars away from that glitch expo. <laughs> oh my god! So one forty k one. It's a win. It's a win. I'm okay with this. Ah, oh, we have eighty nine dollars from Anonymous. That reads glitch. And oh, I have to do this one. We have five dollars from Anonymous. Let's see that glitz esthetician. <laughs> <laughs> and we did it. We did it. Yo, we have yay! met the seven thousand needed for that glitch expo. Oh, that's so amazing. Thank you, oh, everyone, so much for your generous donations. J Cog, I'm so excited for your glitches and tricks to follow this run. <laughs> It'll be good. It's no, going to really be great. I'm glad I get to show it off. Yeah, no, <laughs> it will be. <laughs> this game. Okay, I still say, this game, I still say, is actually very well programmed. Like, most of this stuff, you would never, you would never come across it just playing casually. Like, it's only when you, like, really look um, into, like, you know, all the nooks and crannies. You gotta you got search for them. But the stuff that is in there to find. This game, this is a good game. <laughs> I love this game a lot. This is, I really like how, the, like, the look here. It's very, very nice. Oh, yeah, it, it's such a shame that we just run right through. There's never any reason to <laughs> stop. <laughs> In classic speedrunner fashion, we're just blasting yeah. through. <laughs> ah, it's beautiful. Very nice. Okay, let's run up these stairs and go through this door. <laughs> I really like the pictures. So when you get a new character, the pictures that show up when you get them, I like those. Oh, those yeah. They yeah, never the mentioned like... those, but they're cute. I saw them. Yeah, no, they're second. good. And actually, a uh, funny thing about that, they actually changed the song. Um, I mean, nothing. You, you may you, you get to hear like the beginning of it in the speedrun, but they actually changed the song that plays um, whenever those show between the Japanese and English version. I think it was like, uh, so it was some kind of copyright thing. I think it was, I want to say West Side Story, one of the songs, like the Japanese one sounded like. So just completely different songs. Yeah, on our way to Bowser's Castle. Let's where things go. can pick up a little bit. <laughs> you know what else? We do? Okay. pick it up. Okay, you first. You oh, first. What's that? Well, okay. okay. Uh, that kid, right? I think it's that kid. Wait, it's either that kid. I can't read Japanese. Um, it's either that kid or I think the, maybe the kid after this. The toad? The kid, the kid, Are we talking about this toads? One. That kid, wa yeah, that toad. He wants lots and lots of, he's wishing for lots and lots of shroom cake. I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> Very I also, nice. I don't, I don't know how that tastes. It's probably really good. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he knows what he wants, though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh and what were you going to say? I don't want to interrupt your fight, so feel free. No, you're good. Okay, there, okay. We still have a little bit of okay, stuff. Okay, perfect. I just wanted to jump in because I want to remind everyone that we do still have that bid war, the ghost or bring Luigi, which is coming up <laughs> at the at, near the end of the run. And we do have a $25 donation from La, Pl La Plena, which says, 
ghost him. <laughs> <laughs> so Ghost Luigi is currently in the lead with $680, but Bring Luigi is right behind with 607 Anyone can flip it. Anyone can flip that. But you don't have it's to. Up to. It's you, okay. Chat. I mean, like, you could, you yeah. could stack Ghost Luigi. That's okay, too. Yeah. Just make sure, like, give it enough that no one else can overtake it. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's great. <laughs> okay, so one of the most difficult tricks in the run is actually coming up. Hopefully I get it quickly. I actually have been pretty good at it lately. Um, but so this part of the run, you're supposed to... So like we go over here, right? Um, we come to the first Bowser door in Bowser's castle. And he, he, he tricks us. He drops us down. Now, you're supposed to go through this whole lower section with, that has, like, you know, it's all this lava, all these different obstacles. They're supposed to, like, you know, have you use, like, a bunch of different partners. Um, but we aren't going to do any of that. Um, and in past past routes that use um, Lackey, or that get Paracarry, it's actually trivial uh, to skip. But it's much more difficult to do uh, without him. And actually, sea duping was the thing. The reason that sea duping lets us skip paric skip paracarry. Um, it, well, well, there's a few different reasons, but like th this is one of the things that was like hardest about the route, and that we had to find like a good RTA viable way to do. And it wasn't until uh, I forget when it was found, but there was this easier method. Uh, you had you used to have to do this like really weird like get a very specific angle on the analog stick, remap your neutral, and do a really precise... It was just really precise and really difficult. Um, but now, if I, it's still precise, but it's only one difficult input. So I just have to get into this corner. Okay. Walk over here. A little more. Oh, that might not work. No, that wasn't good. Okay. Very precise. You have you have to walk. Come on. Gotta make with the scoochin'. Okay, I'll take that. I will absolutely take that. Yeah, so just a laggy teleport into the wall. And First try, no we biggie. can just Yeah, it just skips the entire basement. Oh. Okay, that was silly. We've also <laughs> just teleported to hundred and forty one thousand dollars raised. Oh. <laughs> We have a $1,000 donation from Jason. It's Mario Day. Luigi can steal the spotlight some other day. Let's ghost him. <laughs> so Ghost Luigi is now in a commanding lead. 1680 to bring Luigi 617 But, you know, it's always possible okay. to flip it. There's, there's always there's a chance. There's plenty of time. It plenty is of not time. over. <laughs> it's not until the very end of the run, so... <laughs> Do your worst, viewers. <laughs> Amazing <laughs> donators. <sighs> okay, so this room, the flood room. Uh, so normally this is, it's not even really much of a puzzle. Um, it's like, if you're doing this glitchless, it's very straightforward. Uh, what you're supposed to do, there's basically like one thing you can do at a time. So you just do whatever the thing you can do is. Uh, but it's really slow. And so we want to skip it. We need a key. And so I'm going to clip out of bounds here. This is just for speed. It's faster to spin than to ride sushi. Um, but then if I clip back in bounds, hit the switch. Okay, I am going to clip out again, clip back in. And then we're going to do, we're, I'm going to set up what's called a Cooper Super Jump. Just kind of get out of bounds there. Um, whenever you fall, okay, good. Okay, so since I respawned, I have a whole bunch of speed sword. And so I just used Cooper and shot. You, could, you It was hard to see, but I just shot way up into the sky because of all the speed that was stored from, like, the falling. And so I just, like, positioned myself underneath the key and just did that to, uh, to get the key. And that saves, like... I don't know. It's like, it's like a minute or two. It's, it's a lot That's of time. That's a lot of time. That's amazing. It is, yeah. And then this is Cannonless, definitely an original name, not stolen from any other speed game. 
Or we skip the first cannons. time I've heard about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sit in a precise position. There, there we go. Okay, out of bounds. And I'm gonna walk on the seam up top. Oh, I went back in bounds. Oh, that's awkward. Okay, well. Oh my. Let's do. I mean, wasn't supposed to do that. We skipped the first two cannons at least. Uh, so just gonna do a little backup here. Uh, just gonna encounter the bullet bills here, which are much, much easier to run away from. And then I can just use the iframes to get through the cannons. Uh, very important not. Oh. Okay, this is uh, this is uh, one of the chapter eights of all time. Okay, this is this is fine. This is fine. Okay, that's not close enough to get through the cannon. Okay, that will. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. Anyway, <laughs> it's supposed to just skip all of them, but I accidentally didn't go up high enough uh, with that last fall. But it's fine. I, we made it through. I have to jump in again. Uh, Do it, yeah. It's, you won't believe it. You're, I mean, you oh. won't believe it as soon as I say it, but we oh. are now at $148,000. <laughs> we just got a massive $7,000 donation from Humble Bundle, which reads, this is one final donation to the National Women's Law Center from Humble Bundle. Check out the amazing games in the Frost Fatales 2024 bundle and get the bundle at humblebundle.com or by typing exclamation point humble in chat. Thank you so much for that massive donation. And yes, chat, you can check out the Frost Fatales Humble Bundle exclusive. It's available just for a, a short period of time after the event. There are seven games that were showcased in this event. I, I, we are... $1,708 from 150k and only 5,125 remaining for the Fatals record. Oh, can we hit that? Uh, can we? Can Let's go! go. <laughs> We're getting to the end of the run here, but there's still time. There's time. We've also had this this glitch exhibition. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, if you want to read some more donations, this is just like a quiz. The answers are the same every time, though. Just one, one, two, one, one. So this is like, you know, almost two minutes. Oh, oh, definitely. I have $5.55 from Foxat. I hope it's not too late to donate for which execution? <laughs> it is never too late to donate in support of that glitch exhibition and the National Women's Law Center. Thank you. We have a $16 anonymous donation, which reads, Let's go, Frostfade Towels. Let's -a go, indeed. <laughs> we have... A hundred dollar anonymous donation. Luigi just dealt with a whole mansion full of ghosts. Let's give that guy a break. Less than three. So edging edging a little bit closer for bring Luigi, but ghost Luigi is still asserting dominance at the moment. It's just so so much love is coming in for this event and the cause. We have $10 from Laz Lotus, which reads working for the studio has been so surreal. I've come to learn and love so much about all of you. Thank you to the studio team for being amazing superstars, the remote volunteers for working so hard at home, and chat for being so cute and cozy. This has been a week I'll never forget. Less than three. Thank you. And we could make this a fatales to never for forget if we get to that fatales record which were only 5,125 remaining for. It's possible, I believe. We can I do believe. it. I think we can hit it. Okay. Uh, honestly, if there are more donations, you can just keep uh, reading them. There's like some castle movement here, but I'm basically just like making my way through. For sure, just feel free to interrupt me when, when you have some important explaining to do. We have right. uh, $10 at my expense from Barf Ghost. <laughs> Grinch infection. <laughs> we also have $25 at the host's expense, which I'm totally fine with. Let's keep them coming. I will I will say glitch, gl actually I can't even say glitch anymore. I'll say glitch exhibition until they pull the mic away from me, okay? <laughs> so we have $25 from Anonymous, which reads, let's go glitch expo. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. <laughs> We have $50 from Dr. McGaskey. 
congratulations on another amazing event less than three thank you so much for that donation we have fifty dollars from divided by zero congratulations on a great show this past week and thanks for all the work you do raising money for the national women's law center less than three thank you thank you so much we are like exactly 5k away from smashing the fatales record right now which is unbelievable it's so it's so close it is it is so close and it's because everyone out there we have 50 dollars from mecca link no comment thank you that uh, so appreciated we have 50 dollars from cody b here's to support women thanks for another great event let's keep gaming and taking care of each other i mean yes absolutely nothing better than spreading the love of gaming and support of each other through gaming <laughs> Oh, we're almost at 149,000 right now. We're just, we're, we're rolling. You got okay, something for so us here, Jacob? I do, yeah. So awesome. we're actually, uh, we're about to start the boss gauntlet. Uh, the Duplo Ghost here, we're just going to use up and away. Uh, we, we actually really want to make sure that we don't level up again uh, before getting to Final Bowser because we want to keep... Uh, we're gonna get peril in the junior fight, and then we want to keep it for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the the run. Um, and so, luckily, it worked on all of them. It's good to see. Okay, so we're just gonna go straight into this fight. Only what the second time that we've seen uh, junior, and he is not happy about it. Very upset uh, that he, we skipped all of his appearances. There's like what five of them prior to this, I think. <laughs> Something close to that, and we only we only saw one. <laughs> So yeah, he's just gonna demolish the the Koopa Bros. Um, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some more charge strats. They are very powerful. I'm uh, gonna swap to bow here. Okay, yeah, and his, so his attacks are doing seven, and so if I get hit by two of those, um, I can um, I get into peril. Also, this is where having bow for fights is gonna start coming in. We can start making things safer because these fights get really risky if you're trying to go for a top time. Um, and so here I can get an extra charge in and then now I'm going to go. Hopefully I get a five cap. Poor little egg. Okay, nice. <laughs> and so that's a kill. <laughs> Aww. It's, a, it's, it's like a 30 second time loss if I get four caps, but we're still good. We're okay, flying. But I'm in peril. He's yeah, we're flying. We're, we're doing great. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and eat, or drink. I guess he does the drinking animation. This jam and jelly. Yeah, you know, just drink some jelly. <laughs> right out of the you jar. You don't drink jelly. <laughs> right don't jar. you do that? <laughs> I'm doing it right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I need to do some badge equips here. Going to those. Yep. Okay, that's right. Okay, so we're actually done doing charge strats. Um, so Bowser, y you might think that as powerful as they are that we'd want to use them on uh, Bowser. We've got two Bowser fights coming up, um, but it, it actually turns out he has a counter for that. So Bowser, if he sees that you're charging, he actually has a move that he become, suddenly becomes like a lot more likely to do. Uh, the, uh, we call it the wave or shock wave. Usually I just call it the wave, uh, but it takes, it'll take away all of your charge if it hits you. And so you can work around it, but the problem is that like the odds go up, but it's not guaranteed. So he can still use it on its turn you're not prepared for. Uh, but here we can just, uh, we can do a lot of damage here. Okay, so I got a five cap. That's what I'm going for. Uh, and so we can out of sight here, which means I can just guaranteed keep peril. Right into turn two. And because we're doing so much damage, uh, I can just do a three cap right here, which we're guaranteed. Yep. And yeah, Hallway Bowser's dead. <laughs> oh. Honestly, Hallway Bowser's easier than Junior. Um, I'm jumping it again. We, I just go, have yeah, to. Go for it. It's it's we're, we're out of I'm out of control. We'll just say I'm out of control. <laughs> Chat's gone wild. We are at one hundred and forty nine thousand six hundred and twenty seven dollars. We are less than four hundred dollars away from that one hundred and fifty k for National Women's Law Center. 
And we're now at $150,000 for the <laughs> National Women's Law Center. <laughs> we are less oh than 4,000 away from the most raised in a single fatal of, uh, event. We have so much love coming in. We have $25 from Anonymous, amazing Frost Fatals. Let's hit that record for a great cause. We have $25 from Foom Off You. So glad to have been part of the event this year. Love in the run, Jay Cog. Let's beat that Fatals record. We have a $1,000 donation from Butson. <laughs> no comment, but thank you so much for that oh my God. generous donation. Also, uh, it's okay. We also have a $1,000 anonymous donation, which reads less than three. And and the bid war for Ghost Luigi or Brig Luigi is neck and neck. It is oh. so tight right now. We have Brig Luigi now is winning. Brig Luigi is winning oh. on Mario it's Day. It's getting close it too. It is There's spicy. There's still time, but not that much. <laughs> $1,942 for Bring Luigi and $1,936.90 for Ghost Luigi. It could flip at any moment. Chat, we are so close to the to the Fatals record. Like, let's go. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable support for, for this event. I am I'm almost speechless. My cheeks are barely working at this point. <laughs> <sighs> Oh my goodness. Oh. oh, the wand. Okay. Bowser, back to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Bowser's now literally invincible. There is no way to kill him whenever he's like this. Um, however, the damage that I just did right now will carry over to the second phase. He has 99 total HP. And so this fight is constructed so that no matter how it goes, as long as I like hit my blocks and everything, um, I will always get peril and I will always kill. Like it's a 100% consistent fight. Um, which is a far cry from what you'd usually see in like a PB attempt. Um, is it, were you, basically, we're, we're taking advantage of the fact that, uh, so Water Block, we, we haven't seen that move yet, but we have Sushi upgraded, and Water Block actually does, um, so it gives you one defense, but it actually gives you plus two defense against fire moves. And so um, Bowser's fire base does 10, and his other attacks do base eight, and so the math works out that like with that, plus I have fire shield on for an additional one against only fire damage, uh, it makes it so that the only three moves that he can do on the first two turns, if I block them, will always do seven damage. Um, oh, also PFD down is, this is not, this fight specifically was the one that I couldn't figure out a way to do without that didn't lose a bunch of time um, and, and stay safe. Um, so yeah, the goal, the general strat here is we're just going to be, basically we're going to be power bouncing. We're going to get into, down into peril and then we're just going to be doing power bounces. I actually, I got a four cap in phase one uh, and so all of the rest can be three. So um, as long as I execute and the blocks for Bowser, I mean, I've been doing them for years, but I mean, there's always, you know, a chance for a fluke miss. Um, I'd have to figure something out then. Um, but yeah, uh, just gonna well on him until he's dead. Uh, so yeah, actually during this Kami fight, really good fight casually. I really like it story-wise, but uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of a drag in the speedrun. But yeah, we wanna get a few more donations in. Yes, we have $40 from Lycidia. New record, new record, new record. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, chat. We have $25 from Anonymous, which says, let Luigi join in on the celebration. So bring Luigi is still in the lead by a mere six dollars. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we also have $10 from Illegally Sam. We don't have any need to take Luigi on this glitch expedition, do we? <laughs> it says no. expedition, by the way. I'm just, just to be clear. We are $78 from 151k. We are less than 3k from the all-time Fatals event record. We can do this chat. Like, let's do this. Like, we have $5 from Kai uh, Riella. Let's go. <laughs> we are like, we're just, just, I can feel it. Oh my goodness. And Ghost Luigi has taken the lead. This is very dramatic. <laughs> 
Ghost Luigi is now in the lead, 2,101 to 2,007. We have a hundred dollar donation from Reverend Gumby. No comment. Thank you so much for that donation. So, you know, Mario Day is still uh, is 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 it's, it is Mario Day after all. Shall we ghost Luigi? Okay, Shall we bring Luigi? I do need to focus here. Hang on. Okay, you focus. <laughs> Because it's very important that I hit these two blocks. All right, good start. I'm right, gonna go ahead and swap to bow now. Okay, good. We're, we we should be good then. All right, so now we start the power bouncing. I'm just gonna drop it at three every time. All right, do an out of sight. If we're really lucky, he'll never shield again. Most likely, he will shield on this next turn. Bowser's actually like the most varied. He, he's such a hard boss to uh, route for. Oh, I had an extra maple. Interesting. Okay, yeah. So he's given me the most common fight. Uh, turn four is always the most common. If you use Peach Beam on turn one, I can just take that off. Repel gel's still active. And then we will do nothing with Bo, because she unfortunately can't hurt Bowser. His defense is too high. All right, he's making this really easy on me. Don't have to block wave. Um, oh. All right, drop it at three. And then we'll add a sight again. He's probably going to wave on this turn, which this is the, assuming he does it. Yep, yep, here it is. Uh, so that's the move that can take away your charge if you have it. Which he becomes more likely to use early if you are charged. Uh, but yeah. GG, Bowser. Get there's so wrecked. many rules on this fight. <laughs> yeah, no, there's like, there's like a few different ways that it can go. It, it, it's a very complicated, uh, oh. like, like knowing what he can do when. But yeah, so this, yeah. So we still have epilogue. The run isn't over yet. So oh. there's still time to um, save or kill. I mean, Ghost Luigi. Um. <laughs> it is It is very, very spicy right now. It's also spicy in oh. that we, we're at $151,000 <laughs> raised for the National <laughs> Women's Law Center. We are about... $2,408 from smashing the most raised in a single event. Like, we are just flying right now. It couldn't be without all of you amazing people. How does the epilogue go? Uh, so there's a lot of text. Uh, so it's, there's a lot of text where I, I literally just don't do anything. Um, and then there, the reason that we don't end time yet is there is a little bit of movement at the end before credits. Um, so I think I think in total from Star Rod until time is like it's a little bit over six minutes. Oh, it's a lot of minutes. Um, oh, so I have more it time. It is a lot of minutes. <laughs> you do have more time. So yeah, like this is perfect time for more donations. Like last chance. You only have a few more minutes okay. to decide if we're gonna ghost or bring Luigi. So that you you heard it from Jake Hogg herself. This is the the last the final countdown for this bid war between. Ghost Luigi or Bring Luigi. Currently, Ghost Luigi is sitting at $2,161.90 and Bring Luigi is at $2,084. It is anyone's game. <laughs> we have $10 <laughs> from Regali. We can do it. Let's set a new Fatals donation PB. Yes. We also have $50 from Anonymous in the, oh, in the Mario Kart announcer voice. Oh, it's been so long. The new record. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do it. Let's go. Fifteen dollars from Josh. My wife doesn't want to go to the party. Luigi can have her invite. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, twenty-five dollars from Psy Cat. It would be just peachy if we ghosted Luigi. <laughs> oh, it, it's just—it's. Uh, I'm watching the numbers bounce back and forth. Oh Bring Luigi is only. Less than forty dollars away from Ghost Luigi, like it is going to be down to the wire. So Jacob, feel free to like jump in if you know it's getting close. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. I'll, okay. I'll tell you when. 
Oh, okay, amazing. We have $27 from Anonymous, no comment. Thank you for the donation. I imagine lots of these are going to this ghost <laughs> Luigi or bring Luigi. Uh, we have $50 from Holly, which reads, let's set a new PB. Wouldn't that be amazing? That would be oh, just incredible. We have $100 from Reverend Gumby. Excited to see that Glitch Eggs Benediction, which is coming up soon at the following of time, which is coming up soon. There's just, there's so much unbelievable run, love, run, love for this run. For you too, J Cog, of course. $10 from Pyrox. Great run, J Cog. Thanks for the great event, y'all. This has been the most fun I've had in a long time, and I appreciate every single one of you in the Discord keeping it going with eyes and memes so much. Please keep being awesome, everyone, and shout-outs to every single volunteer and GDQ staff member for being some of the coolest people I've ever seen. And with, oh, with that, Bring Luigi is, is in the lead by about $50 right now. No. And we have Rolo oh. Cam. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. Hi, Rolo. <laughs> We also, this is very pertinent, or timely rather. We have $25 from Robots Friend, which reads, Save the Animals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. You, you're all doing so amazing for such a wonderful cause. $50 from I Am Gibbon. No comment. Thank you for that donation. I'm watching the total go up. We're at $151,329 raised right now. It is just remarkable. Y'all are amazing. Oh, look at the cat. Okay, I'm distracted. <laughs> this is Rolo, by the way, chat. <laughs> so cute. Hi, Rolo. Every chat, everyone say hi, Rolo, and chat. We have $50 from Kay the Kitsune. Less than three. Thank you. Thank you for your donation. <sighs> Oh my goodness. A hundred dollars from Reverend close. Gumby. Save the frames. Ghost the Luigi's. <laughs> it, it, it's just bouncing back and forth, J Cog. I wish you could see it. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> okay. Wow. So after this cutscene, it, it, we're, we're getting down to the wire here. Um, okay. I, I think we have to call it here. Okay. All right. Final Everyone, answer Bring yeah, Luigi. Final answer. No, Bring Luigi. No. <laughs> How close was it? It was 2,359 to 2,336. Like, it was really wow. close. Okay, hands off the controller. Don't want to accidentally do it. You literally just hold down right here, and you'll skip him. Okay. Luigi gets to come to the party. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi's coming to the him. celebration. There he goes. This Frost Fatales celebration. Oh. He gets to participate. Love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> All right. So time is going to be in... What is it like? I forget how long this cutscene is. Uh, but as soon as Peach puts her hands in the air, which she is about to do... A little bit more, but... Right. Right. And... Time. <laughs> DG! That was excellent. What an amazing oh. run. So much fun. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, oh my, it was so good. And we did hit the glitch exhibition, right? Oh, oh, did we? We, we, oh, did <laughs> we, we hit this. Just verifying. Uh, for the Gulch exhalation, thanks to the twenty-five dollars from <laughs> Flat Math. <laughs> yes, we most certainly did right. meet that incentive for the Glitch exhibition, which I am very excited for. I know Chad is very excited for now. Lots of GGs for you and Chat right now. Really, really fabulous job. All right, well, let's do it then. Uh, so I'm actually going to switch over to. We have a practice room that's going to make this much easier to show everything off. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and open here. Um, okay. And so like you might be, you may have seen something like this before. If you've seen like, it's based on the Ocarina of Time practice ROM, but I have prepared some files here to be able to show off some cool stuff. Okay. So this first thing that I'm going to show off 
This is something that I accidentally discovered, actually doing rando. Which, by the way, the rando for this game is really good. Rando. If you want to play it in a new way, and you don't want to, um, you know, you don't want to have to like speed run it per se. Rando is really good. Okay, so this first turn, I'm not going to. Um, I'm just gonna let him hit me. Okay, now this turn. Uh, so I have all or nothing equipped, which is a badge that increases your damage, um, the damage you do. Um, by one, but makes it so that if you fail the action command, you get nothing. And so if I fail all or nothing against Huff, I'll get two jumps in here. He just kind of stays bouncy like that. <laughs> oh, oh no. That's concerning. I'm concerned. I have concerns. <laughs> he's, he, he's doing okay. He's doing fine. Oh, wait, I have to mash this. Okay. And I just, I'll let you see the wind as well. Wind. The wind is... <laughs> Yeah, his wind attack, you know. <laughs> he's just going crazy. Oh. He's, he'll be okay though, right? Is I, Mario going to be okay? Here, let, let, him, let me give him the medicine that's in my boots. There we go. See, he's fixed. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Dang, where can I get some of that boot medicine? Oh, <laughs> can I jump in real quick before the next exhibition? Oh, yeah. I just want to point out again, oh my goodness, we're ever so close to $152,000 right now. We're currently sitting at $151,779. And as a reminder, we are so close to the the the, the record, the 153417 that was set by Frost Fatals in 2023. We could still do it. We could still make it. Or let's just see how close we can get. That's my that's my challenge to you. You know, we have this $5 we'll see how from... see close we can get. Yes, right? $5 from Raz the Root. New record. Come on. Okay. All right. We're, we're riding so the sushi. So doing sushi glitch again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're riding sushi. So this is just like I did it in the run. So one thing you may have thought of, so you know how Ken C, so Ken C. Koopa, great name, by the way. Uh, so he appears here. So you might think that like, well, maybe we can use sushi, get, uh, sushi glitch to get around him, right? So I'm going to go like way out of bounds over here. Oh, he still sees us. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, fine. I guess I'll just pay the fine. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he comes to get the fruit. <laughs> he is he is guarding this he oh you, you don't want to mess with them. <laughs> Those are some skills there. <laughs> what was that? Honestly though. Uh. Okay, next thing I'm gonna show. So here in Mario's house, um I think most people know that over here <gasps> is uh there's this panel here where you can go and you can read re, re, eh, read Luigi's diary. But actually there's like whenever you fall and land on the spring, you actually sort of store like a little mini Cooper super jump. So if you just walk behind that spring and use Cooper, you can put out of bounds. And so if I just maneuver uh, out of bounds over here, see if I can land this right. Oh, oh. There we go. Okay, now I'm jumping over and over and I'm gonna put up a little coordinate here. That's my Y coordinate, that's how high I am. I'm gonna wait for that to get to 200. I'm just like jumping on something over and over. What is that? Also, here's Luigi. Just like out of bounds. Uh, so this game, uh, the way, whenever it loads maps, it actually stores anything that it's not like that it might need later. It just stores it uh, below like at zero or like a thousand units uh, below. Excuse me. <laughs> In most cases. Um, and so like there's something here. Also, also Cooper just falling. <laughs> yeah, just going to wait. A little bit before this gets to 200, around minus 200. Cooper keeps spawning up. <laughs> Cooper, no! <laughs> and I'm falling again. All right, almost there. Almost. Okay, that's good. All right, so now I'm just gonna fall here, and so I'm gonna land, I'm outside. And well, first of all, it's kind of funny just seeing everything, you know, like being outside the house. But I wanna actually bring everything back. So if I enter the house and leave, everything will be fixed. But uh, what's that down in there in the corner? No. <laughs> What what is that? A little shy guy. He's just what a little, little guy. shy guy. Just freaking out. <laughs> just like falling. <laughs> he 
think it's there. Mia. I think it's there because, like, in chapter four, if you come here, there's a bunch of shy guys that are like running around terrorizing the house. But yeah, it's just there. <laughs> Okay, I'm jumping in again because we are so close. We are now at $152,864 raised. We are less than $1,000 away from shattering the Fatales record. We have a $750 anonymous donation. No comment, but thank you so much. We're at $153,000 now. Um, for the National Women's Law Center, we're less than $400 away from shattering our record. This is unbelievable. We have another $150 anonymous donation. I, I, I'm speechless. Like, I can't believe it. This is so incredible. We are almost there. We're going to do it. And we get to watch these amazing glitches by our lovely Jaycog here, which is incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. It's so close. Let's keep getting those donations then. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do one more. Oh, oh go, go, go ahead. <laughs> sorry, I'm just so excited. <laughs> um, 1000 sorry, $100 from Katara. Such a great event. Thanks to all the experts, the electricians, the exhibitors, and the expeditioners who helped <laughs> execute an excellent exhibition. And now back to you, Jay Cog. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so right here... Uh, so this is the room. This is where uh, the ruins appear if you place the pulse stone, right? But I'm in a story state, and you can you can do this legit. There's so much sequence breaking you can do to get here. Uh, with I have ultra boots right now, and also have lackey. Uh, but as it turns out, you don't actually need the pulse stone to get in. Uh, so the loading zone that appears in the ruins is actually just always there. So if I just like jump up with ultra boots, I can just go into the loading zone. What? <laughs> this one's actually really useful in rando. <laughs> Um, never gets used in vanilla though, because we can just like spawn the ruins completely there, and they're still it's still not there. And then another thing, uh, you can do the same thing with lackey. So there's actually a technique with lackey called a lackey jump uh, that we didn't get to use. If I press C down to hop off and the partner menu at the same time, and then swap partners, I get it. I get a little height boost there, and that's another way you can do that. that but is yeah, so just, cool. just the, <laughs> the fact that that loading zone is just there. We're less than 300 away now. Less oh my goodness. Go. Less than 300 from smashing the Fatal's <laughs> record. All the donations okay. are still rolling in. Holy moly. <laughs> uh, so this room right here, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and open the partner menu. Um, and I want you to notice that if you hear in the background, you can still hear the stars falling. They're not supposed to keep falling when you pause. Um... So I'm just going to let them keep building up. Um, i got to make sure not to do it for too long, because I can actually crash the game this way. Um, but yeah, this, this glitch right here actually is what led to arbitrary code execution uh, being found in this game. Because uh, it just, so many stars spawned that it overrode a bunch of data. And then, yeah, we, you don't see it here. But yeah, so I just have a bunch of stars built out now. So if I let go of the partner menu here. What? <laughs> oh, I did crash the game. Oh, I, I spawned too many. <laughs> Do it again. That was great. <laughs> while, you, while you reset, I'm just going to say we have a $100 anonymous donation. No comment, but thank you so much. We have a $5 anonymous donation, which reads $5 train to the finish. We can do it. Oh, what? I'm just doing some math. We are less than 100 Ooh. I'm just checking less than a hundred dollars away. So incredible, really twenty dollars from Max less than three. That reads less than three. So close. <laughs> so close. Okay, so here I actually have Zap Tap equipped right now. And again, there this is a thing you can do. You can do a trick called retrigger pro prologue to get back to the state with Zap Tap. So you can do this legit. Uh, so notice I have Zap Tap here. I'm doing the tutorial for action commands. This is the one that I uh, one of the ones that I skipped earlier. And so here this works. Um, but whenever Goombario goes to attack me, and so it blocks it here to give me the tutorial, I'm gonna hit A. But he kind of just gets stuck in place. It's all a little squished. <laughs> <laughs> and also I'm self-locked. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. You're just stuck here. And he's, like, he's like bouncing like he's fine. Uh, okay, next thing. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so you remember this, right? With all the uh, 
All the bomb at duplicate duplicates appearing. Well, I am going to do the same thing I did to skip the Cooper puzzle. I'm going to do it right here. Uh, that should be good, I think. Yeah, okay, that's a good position. All right, now I'm actually going to swap partners. Oh, that doesn't actually clear them. So I just swapped to Cooper, right? No, Cooper is actually still my partner. But... Prove it? All right, I will. <laughs> now, the important thing to remember here is that after this, uh, Vomit usually... Well, not usually. She Vomit usually gives you a kiss. What is usually? It's usually Vomit. Uh, but Vomit isn't my partner right now. So... As soon as I clear this, Vomit... <laughs> Get a kiss from Cooper. No. <laughs> Oh. oh, that's incredible. And you know what else is incredible? What's we that? we did it. <laughs> we did it. We're at $153,539. We have smashed it. We're now at $153,639. We did it. Oh this God, you did cool. it, chat. This is the highest raising event in Frame Fatal's history. All for in benefit of the National Women's Law Center. Like I amazing. Way to go, everyone. Congratulations. Oh. This is wonderful. And you know, with that, I will show to celebrate. I will show the last thing I want to do. First of all, it's possible to actually first strike Lava Piranha out of bounds. What? He's just <laughs> there. And you can see I get this like fun, you know, th th this music. Which is, this is the normal, this is not the music that's supposed to be playing here. And then one last thing, a classic glitch. Uh, and mind you, so I have double dip here. And mind you, it is possible, vanilla, completely glitchless. You can have double dip at this point. Um, but if I use double dip, and it has to be with double dip or triple dip. And I use an, uh, and I throw an egg missile at Lava Piranha. It just crashes the game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, that's great. It doesn't like that. I can never remember why. I had it explained to me, but I always forget. But yeah, and that's my glitch exhibition. <laughs> Thank you. That was wonderful. The run that was, was wonderful. The glitch <sighs> exhibition was wonderful. You're wonderful. Chat's wonderful. <laughs> You're wonderful. <laughs> no, you. You're breathtaking. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. This was so much fun and it went so well. <laughs> it really did. <laughs> Do you have any Jake, shout outs? Where can we find you? Yeah, where can like, we find you? Exactly. Oh, yeah. Tell us about uh, so you. So you can find me. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash jcog, J-C-O-G. Uh, I guess Twitter, jcog underscore, blue sky, uh, jcog. Um, YouTube, jcog. I haven't uploaded there in a while, but I have plans to. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> um, also, jcog. Uh, I, th I think that's it. Uh, I stream lots of speedruns. I also do rando. Also, anything else that I just like feel like at the time. Uh, but yeah, so if you want to, if you want to see me, probably Twitch is the best play, best place to find me. And if somebody wanted to say start speedrunning Paper Mario for the Nintendo sixty four system from the year two thousand, <laughs> oh, <laughs> where where is a good place to to get started on that? Like, where can we find uh, resources? A good place to go would be the Discord. You can find a link uh, if you go to the speedrun.com page. Go to speedrun.com, search for Paper Mario. You'll see a link there to the Discord. Join. We've got tons of good resources. You can see the practice ROM. Practicing is better. Than, uh, it, it's, there's never been a better time uh, to get into running this game. Uh, the resources are better than they have ever been. And the community is super helpful. There's pretty much always people around that are willing to to help. I saw people asking for help literally just today uh, before my run. Uh, so yeah, highly recommend learning this game. And even though it looked really difficult, a lot of the stuff that uh, I was doing, there's a lot of beginner-friendly resources. So please don't feel intimidated. <laughs> Everybody's friendly, I promise. Everybody is. It's true. And one, I think I've got one last question on my list. Um, where can we find more Rolo content? <laughs> more Rolo content also at twitch.tv slash jcog. Ask any important questions, Fiend. I love it. Listen, I, I know, I know what the people the want. I know what the people want, and it's Rolo. You do. It's true. <laughs> 